Star Lost has new merch. Head over to StarLostDnd.com to get it. You can get cool shirts, cute stickers, a mug for liquids of varying varieties. Don't make it weird. A cool poster like the map. Look at the map. Isn't that cool? Get the map. You can also join our Kofi where you can get things like early episodes, your name in the credits, access to our notes, the ability to make an NPC that will appear in Star Lost. The Gunch. And access to secret channels in our Discord. That's right, we have a Discord. Go to the link in the description below. But not only that, we've partnered with Dice Goblin to offer you all an amazing deal, like 10% off anything at their store. Use code STARLOST at dicegoblin.co.uk. Feed your dice addiction so that Dice Goblin knows you like us a whole lot and they should like us too. Dice Goblin x Starlost OTP forever. They also have a new Kickstarter starting off in July with a whole new line of dice. But right now, you can get everything from Session Zero for 10% off at their store. <sighs> Links in description. <gasps> Enjoy the rest of the episode. Bye. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Star Wars Seas. The motherfucker who doesn't wave is back. <laughs> what do you have? He's that? got a hat. Oh my he has God. a hat. That is just the hat that Annie wears. That is just, <laughs> that is just the hat. He's Where cosplaying. You... That's an umbrella, dog. When did you? You've just hidden this. Anyway, hi, everybody. I, I, I was waiting for my mom. <laughs> For those of you who are listening, Pulse didn't wave like normal, but instead reached off of camera and pulled a giant fucking wizard his hat. hat is as big as Wisconsin, I swear to God. It's, it's, it's literally the right Ronnie's hat. Everything. This is it's why just my Ronnie's camera hat. was like oddly off center. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone looked at me, it was like, what, what's he doing? So when for those did you, of you buy who are watching, watch. It's the, on Spotify. You can just watch things now or again, the YouTube. Oh. Hi. We're, we're on a lot of platforms. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, why, when did you buy the Ronnie hat? The, yeah. the, sa the same time I bought the cloak. <laughs> oh, I don't you know, man. Good package deal. You bought that on Amazon. Did you just see that and be like, yeah, yeah fuck it. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> Very worth Intrusive it. Thoughts. We're so blessed to have you back. <laughs> <laughs> and we oh, killed god. Ian to do it. He's gone. We Let's murdered go. him. No. I'm that kidding. hat is made out of Ian. Yeah. Yeah. Ian is Ian is not with us today. Ian had a busy schedule as he does on occasion. So we're playing we're playing a fiver today. So let's get started in the recap. Last time we began in the morning in Estelgrom, the city of the Star Elves, after the group had been brought all back together via various teleportation and arrangements from Arlashna, as well as the intervention of the Astral Elves, the Star Elves, their Astral Paths. Uh, really hard to focus with you fucking with that hat. <laughs> I'm like, you could wear it, but it's just watching you fuck with it. <laughs> it's, just, it's hard it's to hard. put it, like, keep it on with a headset. <laughs> <laughs> I, need, I need headphones. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so, everybody reconvened in Estelgron. Uh, Twink woke up a little hungover at that same time Hickory and Doc woke up after their first night of of sort of Kalashtar training with Arlashna, where she basically just beat the crap out of them in their dreams. Um, <laughs> Lotus and Hush woke up, tagged along to breakfast. Everybody reconvened at their, their breakfast tables uh, where where Doc had a bit of a... Bit, Doc was Doc was in a mood. Doc was kind of snippy and and existential all morning, which considering everybody has had pretty high tensions, no one really reacted positively to. <laughs> uh, Archibald eventually. Archib Archibald eventually. Archibald. English language, my first language. <laughs> uh, Archibald eventually joined the group at breakfast, and then uh, after some some chilling. Twink and Doc decided to go speak to Fairmont. Headed off to get him where they discovered he had been working down in the depths under the Tower of the Didact in one of their forges for far too long. Everybody sort of started trying to arrange how they were going to be getting towards their next step as Bahamut had shown to them of rescuing the Holdmaster that has currently been trapped away in the city of Saracen, but getting there is going to be difficult. They, are, they reached out to Fagin, and he said as long as they can get to a place called the Autumn Forest before week's end, he could probably help them out. Uh, even your guys' ship at max speed couldn't really get there, 
Fairmont offered a means of teleportation that could get you there, but couldn't get any kind of cart there, and you would have to walk the rest of the distance, which also wouldn't get you there on time. Your saving grace came from a lovely lady named Melly Tonin, who revealed to you all that she might have something you could use uh, in exchange for you all sort of uh, coming along with her so she could process something with you. And you you went to her office and you opened the door and you were met by none other than marijuana standing there in front of you to your extreme shock and bewilderment and to Melly's almost disgust. <laughs> uh-huh. It was revealed that this was not Mara, but in fact, his adopted sister, uh, Annie, Annie May. Uh, it was also revealed that Melly is Mara's mother, and he was adopted out when he was young. So Mara himself was not aware of this revelation that you all know now. Feeling sort of bad about the situation, Melly explains that uh, she wants you to take Annie along because Annie has beef with Martin. Uh, Annie is an Eladrin, and her village was once used as an experiment by Martin, and she has been trapped in her winter form without any sense of emotion since it happened. So, she also revealed that Mara gave her the, uh, the star map that Archibald had drawn, and that her patron, some sort of pentacled creature uh, reached out to her and said that this star map and the temples it leads to are very important. With all of these new leads, you guys had plenty to go off of as Melly revealed that Annie has the ability to trigger the astral paths, the weird sort of teleporting highways that you guys have seen people use to get around uh, previously. So, you guys sort of gathered together, got yourselves all set up, chatted with Annie a bit, got to know her. Eventually, you guys went outside so you could start getting onto the ship, getting all set to go, and, you know, lovely snowy place, all of the tension that's been building up finally sort of broke in the form of a giant snowball fight with a bunch of the crew from the ship, culminating finally in Annie dumping snow and sleet on all of you guys with magic and knocking pretty much every single person except Lotus down. <laughs> and in that sort of moment of calm, we stopped. So we are going to pick back up. And I'm going to ask a, a very sort of... Uh, sort of loaded question here. Is there anything you guys need to do or want to do before you leave Estel? because Twink may not, not be here. Ian may not be here, but Twink is, has been given the map of the astral paths and various places that you can go with them. And he's conferring with Lorelai and getting ready to leave. So if there's any last minute things you want to do, now is the time. Anything you need to buy or try and pick up or food you want to grab or characters you want to talk to, snow you want to collect or something. I don't know. Will we have time to uh, cry or echoing? Oh, no. Uh, will we have time to give back the cold rings? Uh, Melly is there to see you off, so she is okay. going to ask for the cold rings back if you didn't spend the money on them, which I don't think you guys did. Then yeah, so you'll give back your, your rings of warmth while okay. I mess with my microphone. Goodbye, ring. I took it up a while ago. Well, testing, yeah, testing. I, am I, do I sound good? Ah! Okay, fantastic. Moving on. Right someone, someone shout. Ah! Uh, uh. <laughs> Alright, we're good. Everybody give us your best guttural. Uh. <laughs> Pulse, your screams are always so visceral. Like, you actually sound like you're being mauled to death. Yeah, you sound Every like you're being I, I resonate <laughs> the pain that Pokemon has brought me. Okay. <laughs> like, when, like, something bad happens in a game, his nose are like, No! Yeah, yeah like, he so... sounds like something terrible has happened. <laughs> <laughs> 
he channels all the energy of, of when he gets one hit and a nuzlocke into <laughs> those nose. <laughs> Damn. Ah. Uh, but yeah, uh, now that we're all caught up, uh, you can give the rings back. Buy rings. I don't think well, I have anything else I need to get. Off. I don't remember having a ring. You can actually do that. You can, you can roll deception. I'm not even wearing it, but sure. He's not wearing it, sure. Is that? No shot. It's a 28. No, 26. 26. It's a 26. Like, I never had a ring. If, I was just like, oh, I didn't get one. Okay. <laughs> uh, how does this change the situation? He uh, he doesn't have one. No, he does, he's looking. He does have one. He just has. I do have bag. one. Oh, it's just, in my, it's just in my bag. Oh, I thought you like didn't have. I thought you like gave yours to someone. No, no, no I. He tried to bargain with Hickory to trade it, but I already had a ring anyway. So yeah. Ah. <clears throat> uh... DMs, if you don't want your players to do things, don't don't have them roll for it. Oh, okay. <laughs> then the NPC rolls a, a 23 on insight and it's still not sufficient. He doesn't um, have the <laughs> attunement slots for it anyway. I just have it. I wouldn't. OK, listen, man, I wouldn't personally DM to DM here. I wouldn't roll insight on that. I don't intelligence. See if she remembers giving him a fucking ring. Yeah, I was going to say she <laughs> knows logically she gave, she gave one to everyone. <laughs> it is. It is contested. I'm deceiving her. She gave you the ring. <laughs> she looked you in the eyes and handed you the ring. She she believes that you believe that you never received a ring. And she's like, did you lose it? Did you misplace it? I don't know. What did you do with on, it? This, this, I don't think the intelligence headband's on tight enough. <sighs> I will have to ask for gold in exchange since it's missing. And I do know you have enough gold. Here's the ring pack. <laughs> you were lying to me. Yeah. Why would you do that? <laughs> because I wanted to give it to someone so I didn't have to keep them warm. Well, but why wouldn't you ask that or buy it? You have enough money. I don't have a whole lot because I already bought this bad band of intellect. Do but that's you not it? your decision to make. <laughs> do, do you want it, Hush? Oh, I can't use it. Oh. I just wanted to give it to somebody when they were cold. Oh. Very noble of you. You can have it back. I appreciate that. Excuse don't me, go lying to people. <laughs> the DM let me roll for it. <laughs> but what? I, took, I took a moment to think of everything and I was like, I was like, but you rolled so high. You she totally believes she believes you believe what you said. I did say that I it was like I didn't get a ring. Excuse me, it was Melly. Mm hmm? How much do these rings cost? Uh, just a hundred gold. I mean, fuck it. I don't have a third slot right now. <laughs> anyway, you gonna yeah, give? A, you gonna give a hundred gold? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna All keep right. it. Doc keeps his ring of warm. <laughs> At least until I have a third thing that'll use an attunement slot. <laughs> then I'm gonna sell it. And an upgrade. Do Do y'all <laughs> like feeling cold? Hmm. No. I'm sorry. <laughs> kind of looks like Why are side. you apologizing? <laughs> uh, eh, a, lo a lot of me is wintry cold and touch touches your shoulder. It's really cold. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. I don't know if you like me using magic. Lotus, as you poke Annie, it is like um, it's it's like when you touch a block of ice and you feel that immediately cold rush up your finger. 
<laughs> as long as you're not milk. as long as you're not aiming your magic at us, should be fine. <laughs> Doc's just like, I don't gotta worry about it now. For now. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, I probably shouldn't have uh had it snow on you all then. Mm, uh, I mean, that was, that was playful. Fun. That was fine. That yeah. was fine. It didn't it hurt. I, it, that was already snow. Mm. We were, but we were playing with snow anyway. Hush shoved down some, shoved some down my pants, and I did not appreciate that. It's a snowball like floating its way towards you, and slowly floats its way back. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna go down his shirt this time. Ah, so uh, where where are we heading? Somewhere warm? Yes, actually. Yeah. No, I'm not going to like it there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Annie, dear, please try to be as optimistic as possible when you don't actually have any sort of positive or negative feelings about a situation. Just just was... pretending will make people feel better. Wait, was that not... Hmm. Okay. Fantastic, dear. <laughs> she like pulls you in and gives you old peck on the forehead. <laughs> Well, with your cold magics, don't you? Wouldn't you have a way to maybe cool yourself down? I'm already pretty cool. Then why wouldn't you like it there? Starts like dancing a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, yeah. oh she's so cool. <laughs> The so. headband's really not working, is it? I don't know, it's just, I it's so... I think you need one. I think, it, I just like, I think it's really funny imagining if you're like, I'm already so cool, does like the default dance from Fortnite. No, don't stop. Epic definitely has that fucking copyright. <laughs> it's okay, I can't sing on don't key worry, anyway. it wasn't close enough. No. I was imagining Annie hitting the gritty, so I don't know if <laughs> 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 I'm so cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, we gotta make a pit stop. I'm literally greedy like on that. the Star Wars ship. <laughs> I imagine the fucking dance for that Commander Shepard does in Mass Effect where they just like wiggle their shoulders <laughs> back and forth. So Wait, are we which one was it, Pulse? <laughs> yes. <All right. laughs> just all are we going to Twintania or are we going to... Well, I can't imagine that Archibald would appreciate coming to Saracen with us, so... Okay, Archibald, you're gonna love Pinktania because it's so... There... It's very different. I mean, it was really nice when I went there the first time, so... Can't imagine now, it got worse. Now there's places to sleep. Whoa. And, oh, like, wow. at least evidence of, like, three-ish planes? Oh. <laughs> Is there, is, there, is there a cold part of the oh. island? Not counting the materials. Not no. that we know of. I mean, there's the water. I like it's water. pretty cold. If I can't summon Petrie on the boat, am I allowed to summon him in Twinktania? Not around people. We probably wouldn't be staying. Don't summon him like in a crowd of people because they will run away screaming. They're already refugees that live there. I won't. Okay. I go swimming though. I'm sure we're. I know someone who might think he's pretty interesting. Who? You'll meet her. Like oh, a little uh, towards Lotus. Who? <laughs> oh, I'll tell you on the ship. We're on the ship. Oh, are we? I thought we were mm -hmm. still on the ground. I figured we had climbed up by now to have our, hey. like, goodbye. Because like, that's, <laughs> that's where... Tell me. Because that's where Annie was, so... Yeah. Oh, Unless Annie's just um, screaming down at us. <laughs> uh, if who I'm thinking is the right person that Dolus is talking about, their name is Vala. Uh, she's a Lorelei sister. She, she pretended dragon? to be me once. Well, I guess she That's pretended to be me. Dragon. <laughs> wait, Melly kind of like what? perks up at the mention of a she dragon. Just what? Huh? Wait, what I also perk up. 
I'll tell you later. She told me a lot of things, but not that. What color? I'll tell you later. Well, we can talk about it <laughs> And later. then in your head, <laughs> in your head, hush, you just hear, she's green. Oh. Oh. Okay. Doc shoots at Hush. <laughs> she pretended to be Hickory one time and then tried to kill both Twink and Lorelai. It was really interesting, but also, like, I was tied up under a staircase. In your head, Hush. Hush, disconnect from Melly. <laughs> <laughs> I wish this followed group call rules. Yeah, that's where everybody weird. just heard. <laughs> that would be so funny. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll say I say hush, disconnect from Melly, and then I like put a hand on Melly's shoulder, like, "All right, so moving forwards, what about these ash?" Like I like start gesturing her towards like the helm of the ship, like <laughs> away from this conversation. They don't. They don't. She doesn't hear it. It's, she, she did doesn't. hear it. She reacted. She's she was like, "Oh, she heard Lotus, she heard Lotus talking." Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm talking to her in my head. We're fine. It's not. It's not. A, it's not a group call. It's more of private chats. Yeah. So. So I gesture her away. <laughs> yeah. Annie, Annie will be able to trigger the astral path. She's she's familiar. So. Right, but like, you know, I'm just, um, like, how do they work? You know. Oh well, so the gates are built a long, long time ago using very ancient magic. We haven't built a new one in thousands of years why oh well treading through the astral sea as they do it's it's quite dangerous you see because of planes and the material plane functioning differently if you pop into one and pop back out into the material plane distances can be made much shorter think of it like hmm, hmm. Think um, of it like the Nether in Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> Dolus loves one Minecraft. Block, <laughs> one block traveled in the astral plane is eight blocks traveled in the material plane. Think of it like if you tossed a piece of paper on a river and it was rushed along and picked up by someone else further down. As far as the paper is concerned, it didn't move. It was just put down and picked up. Oh, I see. Similarly, the sort of currents of the Astral Sea can carry you great distances, even though from your perspective, you just briefly enter the plane for a moment. Hmm. Huh. And so do these gates need to be maintained in any way? Uh, well, eventually, if they fall into disrepair, then the path itself becomes inaccessible because the gate can't work. But so long mm. as the basic runes and structure exist, then the gate could be rendered into pieces and ruins. So as long as the main components still function. Mm. The gate you used in Yubua, from what uh, from what I have been told of by several people, well, you didn't use it, your ship used it. Um, oh. But it, it's nothing more than two stone posts out in the, sto in the snow now. Huh. And... Okay, and so if a gate ceases to function, is there any way to know that? Like, what if you decide you're going to the one in Yuboa, and you don't know that it's been, like, it's fallen into disrepair and can't function? Are you just stranded in the sea forever? No, 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 our gates are redundant. You wouldn't even open a path. It is... A connection between the two points. If they both don't light up, then nothing happens. Oh, okay. So you'd essentially, you would stand at one gate, uh, chant the incantation, and nothing would happen. I see. Interesting. Meanwhile. Mean, yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, what's going on with the, the rest of the group, I guess? Well, I, I can't I can't think of the next part of this conversation, so <laughs> well, I was move gonna it ask over there. Still in the earshot, because now I realize I have a question about this. But if they're not no. in the earshot, then it doesn't matter. No, I walked away specifically to not be in earshot. But true, he did walk yeah. away to I, not I'm be in earshot. Yeah, yeah. I'm just telling them fun facts about green dragons. <laughs> so, did you know that they... 
that they're actually more mischievous and diplomatic and like to keep secrets and lie their way through things? She tried yeah. to kill us. Yeah. Like really That's... hard. What do you know about silver dragons? Uh, Nothing. Well, they're more. They're silver. No, well, they're more. Um, what's I know the word? A bit about Bahamut. Cognitive. Uh, they mess. They meddle with things in society sometimes. Hmm. Uh, they like to be in the business of others. Why? Hush. Why do you know so much about dragons? I was in a cocoon with a abolith for a really long time. He told me everything about the things that go bump in the night. And now I have this to remember all of it. That's a good point. He really would just tell you about my, all of the things that could fuck him up, huh? It was he gave so bro the DMG. Yeah. <laughs> he gave bro, you know, That's he gave why he knows so many manual. things about reproduction. He gave him the monster manual, <laughs> yeah. not the DMG. Uh, Annie will kind of slide off like the her little like glove thing and you'll see like Silver scales. I want to meet one. Um, no, hang on, dragon? hang on. Let's roll this back. What? Yeah, it's my um, part of my bloodline. Kind of got the magic from them. I thought your bloodline was elf. You're like cool, special, seasonal well, elf. Down You're a sorcerer. The yes, 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 oh. yes. I'm a sorcerer. Cool. And it, he'll, she'll uh, poke you and it'll feel cold. <laughs> Doc has a moment to where like, he sits there, Already cold. he pauses. He slowly walks over to Annie and gently puts both of his hands on, his on her shoulders and goes, Sorcerers don't have a good track record here. Just a warning. What is where? That mean? Here? Be careful. <laughs> where? <laughs> I've lived here for years. Not, no, with us, I, with us, uh, because they used to have a sorcerer and they don't have a sorcerer anymore. Why is he okay? <laughs> well, he wasn't, and then he was. Oh yeah, I, I died. I'm going to be honest, I don't think anybody on this ship has a good track record for that type of thing. Not just I've, sorcerers. I've died like 30 times. And you're not a sorcerer, so you're kind of proving my point. Well, that's because... Actually, yeah. The yeah, doc no. just turns around and goes, the actual deity of time just ripped my existence from me. So okay, you, what does that have to do with anything? That's a, a good cleric, point. That's a worse track record, because you've died so many times. Wait, you've died like 30 times? Yeah. Wait, are, are you married to... No. Hmm. No, so I have this, and Doc just kind of summons the hour. <laughs> but I'm not supposed to have this. So when I first met them, uh, me and my sister were thrown into this other area, and, and blah, 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 yada, yada, this happens. And now I have these swords. Hmm. And I have just made a deal with the little guy until uh, we can give him back. Unfortunate. I mean, they're really cool swords. <laughs> <laughs> just, a, just a shame. That I'm... That... What part of that is a shame? I mean, I guess the same body thing. I'm starting to get used to it, so I guess I don't really <laughs> process it as a travesty. Mm -hmm. Which I think is more concerning now that I think about it. I don't think he's married to time. No. I've named him, by the way. I thought his name was Time. Yeah, but Time seems Their impersonal, name? and we're starting to get used to, you know, Time existing, so we named Time Meridian. What does Meridian mean? Well, it's like the Prime Meridian, which is when, which is basically like the equate. Hang on. <laughs> now I have to process real ge geography here. Cryo, does the Prime Meridian exist in Star Loss? Do time zones exist in Star Loss? <laughs> That's a great question. Do they? No, motherfucker. <laughs> then the Prime Meridian just doesn't <laughs> exist. So I it's pulled cool that word. out of nowhere. 
It's a cool word. I it's just a cool word. <laughs> that another world would process as a as a nice play on words. <laughs> Let's let's cut through this. Let's get let's get let's get let's get out of this. It's getting meta. <laughs> Let me out, Cryo. Let me it's out. It's getting meta. I didn't How do you know. know what that word means if it's not a, not a real thing? Mazeltov. Uh, eventually, <laughs> while I was talking to Melly, uh, I realized what I would have said as I lost uh, my train of thought. Just been like, you know who would love to hear about this? Alina. <laughs> I just call her she over. Like, pe- she like peeks up like a fucking meerkat from like a <laughs> further back of the ship. Just gesture. Okay, it just comes down. Alina, Hello. how much do you know about the astral paths? I didn't know they existed until now. Well, you're about to know a whole lot more. Melly, oh. please. Oh, all right, fantastic. So the astral patch, the, the two of them. Back away started. slowly. Back away. <laughs> Doc just Dole notices Dolus back group. back toward the group and he's just. How'd it go? Really well, actually. Mm. I learned a lot. Alina's learning a lot. She's happy. Melly's happy. She gets to talk about her interests. You learned too much and threw Alina to the, to the wolves. I learned enough. I just didn't really know what to say anymore to keep it distracted. That's fair. Are you happy? Am I what? That is such a loaded you, you question. Talk, you talk <laughs> a lot about happiness. Yeah, where's yours? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I think that's Doc's reaction too. <laughs> it's just, oh my god! <laughs> Why do you have resting bitch face? <laughs> you talk a lot about happiness, but where's yours? <laughs> no, no, not but where's yours, just where's yours? Um. <laughs> that's. Uh, you know. <clears throat> pulls out her pen and her quill and paper. <laughs> Um, are you not? Happy? I have a Betty, but sorry, hold on. I have a better question for you, Annie. Mm, uh, mm, mm, mm. A lot more interesting. Okay. So, how is it that you're able to operate the astral paths? With great power comes great responsibility. That's not an answer to my question in the slightest. Okay, then how? Like, can we really, have if them? if you had to. Like, that is about as far as you can get from answering my question. To infinity and beyond. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, why was Hick able to open the one into here in the first place? She was? Well, yeah, we had to open the path to get here somehow, and Hick had to open it. Is she a star elf? No. She's a... him. The look the same. star, <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. I don't know. All right. You, you do. I tell you, I messaged you exactly Wait. how this works. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, uh, she would. I, I'm. She would probably say that because, like, she doesn't know how sh- she would have done it. Like, uh, <laughs> Hick. How oh, Hick would have done. It. Yeah. <laughs> Pulse, it's not a special, it's just the thing <laughs> I sent you. It's not a thing, it's not a thing. <laughs> did you, uh, you utter some words? Yeah. Well, she did. Yeah. Yeah. It, mm, it, mm. Mm. That's it. Interesting. That's it. Just, just the special words. Kinda. <laughs> so, can anyone just do it then? If you just say the right words, <laughs> different words for every path. Yeah, it's, a, um, <laughs> it's kind of like a password, sort of. So, so, so but if word. those words, so but if we knew those words, we could just travel the astral sea whenever we wanted and however we wanted, from gate to gate. Mm, kind of. Doc digs in his bag and he's like, "I have like the, the right here." Just like folded up in a book. Yeah, they gave me a sheet of paper to read. Well, they gave Hick. It's 
grabs it. <laughs> hey, no, Don, Don closes the book the second he sees you flinch for it. And he shoves it back in his bag and it's like, so just any, but no, no. Why? <laughs> I I just wanted to see. What are you, what are you, what are you reading there? Did you find our passwords? <laughs> Doc takes like two steps back. Our passwords. He saw, he saw how avidly you were reaching out for it. <laughs> and he's like, I don't remember what it oh, says. Oh, do you Hang prefer on. if Cryo I ask? Me. Hang on, Cryo DM'd me. I'm going back for it. I'm not going back for it. We've talked too much of DMs over the last month. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so the phrase yeah. that was sent when Doc repeats it, because Doc can read it and repeat it. Yeah. Annie, you recognize the phrase to go from Yubua <clears throat> to Estelgrun. Hmm. <laughs> yep, recognize that one. Okay. That's probably the one you used. Well, yeah, it was the only one that we had. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh, Wait so I thought you... there was like a list. <laughs> no, it's just the one. Okay, gotcha. Hmm, yeah, this makes sense. So, what? Wait, you said our passwords? Is it like a Star Elf secret? I would assume so. Well, you're not a Star Elf. But... Y yes, I'm... <laughs> kind of just like looks off. What? Why are you looking away? You don't feel sad? She's thinking. Trying to pretend. Why? <laughs> <laughs> you did this. You made this character, Bulls. <laughs> I'm trying to no, pretend. No, she actually says that, though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't take away my moment. Okay. Um, so we ready to go? <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> All right. Hey, wait, 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 actually. Just start stepping to <laughs> yeah? Doc just has a moment. Where the fuck is Harmon? Is Harmon? We haven't seen that Probably crazy somewhere. motherfucker in weeks. I'll walk over to the nearest barrel and kick it and say, Harmon, you in there? Ah! <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> I have been telling you guys for months, you just need to look for Harmon. <laughs> I meant Harman. it literally. He will just, just be wherever we look. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Found him. <laughs> All right, well, that solves yeah, that question. I'm so glad you figured it out. <laughs> I'll, I'll look in the barrel. You open the barrel and immediately a guy pops out. He's, oh, hey, I'm Harmon. Cool. You know what Harmon looks like. <laughs> Just... Hello. Hello. Where have you been? Here, there, everywhere. Do you like it in there? Uh, it's, it's, good, it's got a good smell to it, a nice aroma. It's refreshing. It's oh. like on him. <laughs> <laughs> just go, like, pushes it back down. <laughs> well, it just kind of backs up a little bit. He seems happy. Mm -hmm. There's his mm -hmm. happiness. Mm -hmm. That's the crazy. You never one, told right? me where yours was. So we're moving onwards <laughs> <laughs> towards Twinktania. Go. <laughs> Point. Oh, like, oh, I need to watch like that with the ship. <laughs> Okay, yes. So you guys, you finish your small chat. <laughs> you you get all positioned uh, as Twink and Lorelei work out the, the last little details of their, their sort of plan. And Twink approaches Annie and he tells you which of the astral paths they need you to go to. Mm, I know that password. <laughs> that kind of shuffles over. He's like, Okay, but what if I want to know the passwords? She walks forward and ignores you. <laughs> Doc, like, he shuffles back closer. <laughs> Doc, make an arcana check to see if you can r remember any of these words Annie's about to utter. Fuck yeah, let's go, baby. That's not good. Um, Nine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so I'm going to give you a great option here. All right, all right. You can either yada yada hand wave this, or if you want to just make up some magic words. Oh, I actually wanted to make up some magic words. Oh. You go nutty, buddy. Yeah. Oh, my uh, God. For, first, I'll I'll, uh, I'll I'll pull Doc with me, mm. and I'll be like, okay. Uh, oh, I, I have to. Can I can I roll deception? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think if it doesn't work when you okay. do it. <laughs> Uh, 
I'm trying to look at my sheet. Oh, wow. That's 23. <laughs> okay. So we'll assume Doc uh, uh, is believing you so far. What are you, what okay, are you doing? Okay. Um, okay. So what, what you do is you walk up, mm. you do a little twirl. Bibbidi Boo lets me through. Hick didn't do a twirl. This one's different. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's some well, exclusive instructions. You wanna, do you want to do instructions. it? No, no, no. You wanted to do it. Go. Hang on. Yeah, I'm about to do that. That's a two. <laughs> <laughs> Doc like, closes his book and he's like, okay, okay. She pulls out her quill. <laughs> Turns around and sure enough, that's just what he fucking does. You twirl in place and bibbity boo, let me through, and you point forward, all excited. It, it, it you. That's not funny. It might be whenever I get my emotions back, and she pl puts the <laughs> paper in my. <laughs> that's not funny. I'm sorry, it that's one of the eventually. best quotes we've ever had in this show. <laughs> that's not funny. It might be when I get my emotions back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she'll she'll just she'll actually just uh, let me actually do it. <laughs> okay. Portal. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Doc just writes portal and he's like, what? <laughs> That's the portal, worst a, password mm, ever. And again, That's that, so good. that rectangle appears in front of the ship. <laughs> Lorelai puts on into the lever. Uh, can I get away with my crappy Arcana check for that password? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> as the as the ship enters this sort of rectangle, and again, you guys see the stars like stretched out like an infinity mirror. Did um, Melly get off the ship? Yeah, Melly got off the ship. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That was part of the just like, all right, you guys all wrap up and get ready to go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I probably would have hugged her and be like, I think I'll miss you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pretend like I'm <laughs> um, Everybody gets to make this, but Doc gets to make it with advantage because he was here as Hickory. Everybody make a deck save. Let's go. I have my rolling like shit today, but we made up for it with advantage, baby. <clears throat> deck save. Yep. Just pool higher him. than 14. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> I don't All right. know. Only Dolis and Annie. So Annie, you've you've researched a lot of the astropaths and they've been explained to you, but you've never traveled them yourself. Mm -hmm. And and Doc, you were you were all geared up, so you were ready. And then the two kids are just very dexter and nimble. Dolis, you're kind of just chilling. You're expecting the ship to lurch forward as it normally does with speed. But then you hit the path and everything seems to stop for a second as you guys are in the astral sea for that instant. And it seems like all momentum ceases. And then you are suddenly in the sky above the ocean somewhere far away from where you were moments ago. And all of the momentum snaps back in and you just boom, 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 like straight onto the deck. Oh, both open, Annie open, open. and you just both <laughs> boom. Oh, I, I think I just ate shit. So, oh, <laughs> the kids <laughs> both, like, stumble, but she, she, like she Doc braced himself, so he just like wiggles <sighs> slightly. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> I like do you, so I just like face planted onto the fucking yeah, deck. Basically. It's like I it's like you just standing right. on the bus and it suddenly slammed on the brakes. You just. Uh, <laughs> I her look up like my nose like a is a little busted. <laughs> her her looks, looks like, like this. Taco. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, are, are y'all okay? My nose. My, my. Oh my oh, hat! Oh. <laughs> Audio listeners, I'm sure you loved that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, was it loud? <laughs> It was just like, yeah, your mic picked it up. <laughs> Sound like a giant bat flew through. <laughs> oh, I can make flying sounds for you guys. Yeah, oh, oh, God. God. we have a Foley artist live. 
<laughs> for one sound. <laughs> <laughs> we could ask him to punch the desk and we get two sounds. <laughs> oh Man. my god. How? How was your first time? First of all, never say that to me again. Second of all, Why? Yeah, it hurt. <laughs> Dolus, Alina rushes over to help you up with the help of Lotus. <laughs> They'll just get you up. I'll get up. Ugh. Do you need a potion bottle? No, no, I'll be fine. No, it's okay. I didn't actually take any damage. <laughs> I didn't lose any <laughs> points. You saw my that. HP is full. <laughs> it was just for the bit. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you guys sort of oh, take the moment. Hand. Hmm? Crow raises his oh. hand. Oh, yes. Uh, is Lorelei on the dock with us? The deck? Lorelei on the dock. Deck. You guys are, you guys went through the deck. gate on the, sh yeah, she's on the deck. She's standing, she's, she's standing on dock. She's, she's at the helm. She's on the one shoulders. currently at the helm. Uh, can I just go, like, into the captain's quarters? You could try just and sneak walking. past her into the captain's quarters. <laughs> Okay. The helm is like right in front of it, so make a stealth check. What? Stupid high AC. Are you? Are you kidding? Are you What's kidding? Uh, I have advantage and plus twelve. Uh, thirteen. I rolled two natural ones. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> I rolled two natural ones in a row. Oh, that's fantastic! Two, yeah, an absolute like, critical fail. I'm gonna go fail. back here. You start walking. You go to like sneakily grab the handle, and Lorelai just, what are you doing? Going in. Why? It's cold out here. If you had waited one fucking second longer, Crow, the next thing out of my mouth was you guys are in a much warmer place. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> you travel. We're in Tweet Tanya. <laughs> it is literally if you had waited one second longer. <laughs> For me to set the scene. Wait, no. Even, let, make him commit to this, and he just said oh, it's no, cold out here. I was gonna commit here. to it regardless. Oh, yeah, if no, we're even, if it's warmer now. now, he's still saying it's cold out here. Yeah, she just. Hey, I rolled two natural ones. Like I'm taking this as a complete yeah. fail. Why are you actually trying to go into my quarters? I had some questions that you were going to ask to my empty bedroom. Is it your bedroom? What the fuck do you think quarters means? I don't know. I thought there'd be like a desk in there. There is a desk in there. There's also a bed a... and a shower. You have your own bedroom and shower? Yeah, I'm the captain. Admiral. Fuck. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how boats work. Or they don't, ask, don't just walk into blazes. Twink does. You know what happens when... Wink goes into my quarters. Uh -oh. I don't. Okay. Come here. What happens when Twink goes into your quarters? <laughs> Put the hand on your shoulder. And we cut back to everybody else on the deck. As you just get spiked down a level from the higher level of the deck, you get just thrown like 20 feet into the deck next to Lotus and Dolus. <laughs> just come to a boom, 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 boom. You are going to take. <laughs> Five points of bludgeoning damage. I like see Hush fall towards us, and then like I look up towards the the source of where he was thrown, and I'm like, "What?" Oh, Hush just like lays on his back. Hello, you good? Hush, Hush learned a that? very important lesson about privacy. Yeah, no, that's oh, fair. Oh, that one. What did you do? In. I just went into her quarters. I had some questions. You don't go into. You a made it inside. Room? Why would you try no. to? So, first off, what were the questions, 
And second off, why not just ask Lorelai? Because I, I wanted to sit. I thought that there was like a, it was just a desk and her desk, like one on one. You I guess can there's speak a bed. in her head. Why does it need to be more one on one than that? Because I have a lot of questions and I don't want to distract her I, from uh, steering. Hush. And, I'm not telling you what the questions are. Why are you trying to do sneaky things with people who are supposed to trust you? I didn't think they were the fairies. I just had questions. So you decided that you wanted to try and sneak into her quarters and answer the questions without her knowledge. No, he was going to wait there for her to get in just gonna wait and then ask her the questions afterwards. Are, are we it? sure that headband is working? Yes, I can tell you a lot of things. You want to know how Kotoa reproduced? No. <laughs> <laughs> I love. Why is it so always much. reproduction? What, that's that is it, like the one int you don't have is the <laughs> one that is the decision making one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, the it's the I just know vastly too many things. I yeah. just. Book smart, not street smart. Yeah, I'm like, you're the perfect example of intelligence be being book smarts and not street smart. Exactly. Um, so, yeah. I just get back up and I walk back over to Lorelai. I walk back into her quarters. <laughs> just <laughs> straighten walk, the door. <laughs> you walk back up and she's just like, are you okay? Do you need, yeah. do you need a potion or an apology or a hug? No, I have questions about red dragons. That's good because you're not getting any of those. I'm, wait, <laughs> what? Yeah, I have a lot of questions about dragons, and I wanted oh. to confirm. Okay, Hush just, like, <laughs> just like, confused. Hush just like sits next problem. to the helm. Question: Do you dislike? White dragons, because they are the opposite of you. No. I... I dislike them because they're assholes. I did hear that they're not the greatest. How do you also, reproduce? red dragons are chaotic. Do uh, you prefer the taste of elves? In a certain sense. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Kind of, I guess. Here's I your word. What? Your horde. <clears throat> My horde is uh, currently away without leave. What does that mean? I had a lot of gold and magical things and gems saved up in a really big chest I had buried, and then the planes started collapsing and it's gone. Am I allowed to ask about red dragon reproduction? I'll throw you into the deck again. <laughs> Josh just like gets up. I had a lot of questions about the reproduction. Oh my Starts God. Walking away. Just like, just like, what the fuck? As you walk away. Josh has like a slight limp. <laughs> I cry out. Yeah. You want to finish setting your scene from earlier? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are we seeing? I, <laughs> I mean, I was just going to go hide in there until later. You guys, as you guys are picked up and, and get settled, you are over a very familiar sight of stretched out ocean. Uh, in the distance to the north, you can see on the horizon, the sort of dark, cloudy textures that you know of shade step. So it looks almost like a weird brown storm on the horizon, that that point of the sky where it turns into ash and soot. And you are, I, I see your face twitching. Okay, what is, what did um, I say? I <laughs> hey man, it's not all about you. <laughs> now keep being the center of attention. All right, <laughs> so 
Uh, and out in every direction is just ocean. You were seemingly teleported somewhere much further south because it is warm. It is immediately the sort of warmth you guys experienced traveling. So you can ditch the coats and heavy cloaks and stuff. In fact, it might be more comfortable to do that as you guys immediately feel the sort of like wash of a warm breeze over you as you start sailing. I Don't realized I, I never that. bought a coat. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's a there's a breeze, you said? Yeah, there's a nice warm breeze. Well, I mean, the breeze is coming from the fact that you're on an airship flying several knots an hour. Oh, I think this is how someone feels when they're miserable. That sounds about right. Wait, do you mm. feel it, though? I feel warm. But that miserable feeling you're talking about. I don't think uncomfortable no, is an emotion. Yeah. Or sweaty. So, no, but she specifically said this is how someone feels when they're miserable. You were just prying at this. At this. <laughs> you were just a chip like away that, at but this But do thing. you like that? Well, yeah. Sorry, writing it down. No. It, listen, if you make a character and the whole concept so of this hard. character is they don't feel anything. If you ever say, I feel like doing this, I'm going to be like, do you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. People can have so. thoughts without emotion. Yeah. But he says feelings. <laughs> Let them be an enigma. <laughs> no. Let them have this. No, Let them have this. <laughs> I refuse. <laughs> it is, uh, <laughs> it is warm. It's nice. It's a sunny day as you guys are suddenly out in this much further south location. Uh, I, those of you with the lovely background of, of, uh, of, of Wanderer, <laughs> Can definitely recognize that you are probably several days south of Shade Step, which means you're probably not far off from Twink Tanya. Yes. Yes, Hush. This is the first time Hush has mm -hmm. never been in a snowy environment because this we... is your first time experiencing a subtropical atmosphere. Yeah. This is awful. Hush just for you. like flops on the ground like a like like a wheel. hush <laughs> returns from talking to Lorelai and every step gets like heavier as he approaches you guys until he just uh, <laughs> like in are the you okay of buddy he like starts like pulling the scarf yeah it's Wait. gonna be warm that's how I would feel if oh. I my okay. my skin's gonna dry up it's it's not. It's actually more humid than anything. It's so warm. I hate this. Yeah, you, you're probably this sweating. This is misery. Actually. This just is make your scarf like. cold. That's a good idea. <laughs> you impressed the scarf. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna walk over to Hush on the ground, like writhing in heat. I'm gonna just like put my hand over him and just like a slow trickle of water starts coming out and pouring over you Dolce, are you peeing? like on the top of your head <laughs> no no god out of my hand yeah <laughs> I, I, like hi, like you you drip the water on hush and he's like thank you and he takes it and i'm gonna control water all the all the water that like drips off him he's just gonna reuse it and it's gonna just keep like in a circle just like keep just like dropping. You should put your head in a bubble. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can't See, breathe underwater. Like so. Oh wait, dude, I'm totally gonna do that. I yeah, exactly. Hot loop the loop. Next <laughs> oh, dude, I'm totally just making a bubble of water around my head. Ah, uh, the bubble just slowly builds and builds. And, <laughs> and now just make the bubble cold. And now it's ice. So it's cold water. <laughs> and Hush is suffocating. No, not that cold. <laughs> I'm gonna make it. <laughs> Cold, but not ice cold. God, this is a, yeah. You, it's cold. It's cold water. I just like look Good over. At, uh, I just look <laughs> over at Dolus. I'm like, 
Thank you for the idea. I'm gonna walk up and hug him. He's the water. I, 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 I hug you back, too. yeah, and then like as you re release from the hug, I'm like, can you? There's a wet spot on my shirt. Puts it back in the bubble. <laughs> <laughs> As it rejoins the bubble. Hello. I'm just like opposite. Pulse, you're muted. I touch the bubble. Yeah, it's water. <laughs> oh no, just... Annie goes, touches the bubble, and there's immediately like, like, <laughs> crags and fractals of frost out from where she touches. You, you the hear part the of the most like, ice is over. <laughs> you hear like a gargle, like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Warms thought, it up a little I, bit, then cools it down. I thought You're that gonna would help. Freeze. I thought that would help. <laughs> huh? You ever see SpongeBob? How like they, when they go up to the top, they have like a bubble with like water. They have like yeah. I imagine that's exactly. what you look like. Yeah, he's just got like a bubble of water around them. He's just got his he's got his gills out. Yeah, Lotus. How far away from we are? How far away is Twinktania from us? Uh, the last time you were in this area, you were about a day's out from Twin Tanya, but that was before you had the airship. So cool. probably, probably oh, yeah. a very short trip. Okay. Lorelai! <laughs> yeah. How far? I don't know. If I crank it up, we can probably get there in like an hour. Let's move! <laughs> She like looks at the entire Crank group, that like, shit, Lorelai. <laughs> Crank that soldier boy, Lorelai. <laughs> like the second he says let's move, he's immediately bracing because he knows this thing goes. She cranks the lever and it immediately just uh, I'm gonna hold on to Annie. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I was gonna say everybody else is ready, but Annie's not. Annie, you just suddenly have just it it's like if you you opened the door on an airplane and we're just like smacked by the rushing air immediately. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the hat in the face. <laughs> yes, exactly. Lotus <laughs> holds you so you don't fall over. What? Awesome. <laughs> Lotus, Lotus holds, holds you. you so you don't fall over. He said. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so once uh, you get your hat in, you are. <laughs> oh. You are good. Thank you. you Pat, I will Pastor. say, everybody else knows it. I mean, you know this, Pulse, but Annie doesn't know. Uh, at this speed, you gotta shout a little to get over the wind speed to talk to each other on the top deck. <laughs> so you thank Lotus, and Lotus is just like, What? <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. What? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> oh, you're welcome! <laughs> I just start, like, Dolus with his face, like, Dolus starts moving towards the <laughs> stairs, towards the bottom deck. Dolus scoots my, to the stairs and goes down. My bubble blowing away. Your bubble is definitely, like, wobbling <laughs> with bits flying off. <laughs> Oh, just like like trying to pull himself to try to get on down the stairs. Dog is but I'm just gonna life. over to Lotus. Like, let's go downstairs. Okay. I'm gonna go see walk. I want to observe what Lorelai is doing. Lorelai is not phased by this change in acceleration at all. Like her her hat doesn't even have issues. She like tilts her oh, head okay. just perfectly for the wind to come off of it. <laughs> Aerodynamic. Not so wibble. not how she's doing. What she's doing. Oh, she's just she's just piloting. She's just mm. got her hand on the helm. She just tilts the wheel occasionally. You see her fiddle with a lever off to the side every now and then. And the, the altitude adjusts here and there. Mm. How does this work? Walk up there. Just oh, it's a uh, it's magic. Huh. We used to have buttons, but now we have levers. Mm. This one's faster, this one's up and down, and then the wheel is for left and right, and she kind of wiggles the whole ship to, like, mm -hmm. example. She does a little a little S-swerve. Mm. Everybody downstairs just... <laughs> I'm only good with boats. It works a lot like a boat, so that's, that's pretty good. Mm. You just have to add the extra bit of up and down. Mmm. 
which can be really it. fun. Watch this. She just jolts the lever slightly and you go up like four feet <laughs> off the deck as the ship just drops down a bit. And then just boom, everyone downstairs. You literally just you, you just just like gravity suddenly stops. Just <laughs> <laughs> Dolus, you're walking into the gallow <laughs> into the gallery. The gallows. <laughs> and he's just Yay. like Dolus! <laughs> Oh, hello, walk. And then all of a sudden, both of you just... Mm. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> he grabs a bunch of stuff before it hits the ground. And I, like, in that moment that, like, it feels like gravity gives out, begin hovering. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Everything falls, and then you just float back down to your feet. Yeah. The ceiling smacks him in the head because it comes back faster. <laughs> no. Uh... Okay, anyways, hello, Walk. Hello, Dolus. It's been a while. I went to the Underdark. I know, we were quite <laughs> concerned. I mean, you say a while, but I saw you, like, two days ago. It felt like a lot longer down there. Does time travel differently in the Underdark, or is it no. just scary as shit? It's just really scary. It's really scary and dark and... Uh, no, there's only <laughs> the only things you can do there are drink or die, as they say. It sounds a lot like being a pirate before we got the cool airship and like the m- mission to save the world and stuff. I mean, you all had more to do than drink or die. Like I could also clean. I'm sure you pillaged. I mean, yeah, I mean, I was the cook, so I didn't really do any of the raiding or pillaging. Oh. How much raiding and pillaging was done? Oh, well, I mean, usually dur- we were more smugglers necessarily than pirates. We didn't do much of the attacking, but every now and then we'd come across a good ship and decide to take it. Or if we'd sold off all of our, our goods, but we didn't have quite a good haul for when we were heading back to Inshasla, we'd keep an eye out for Empire ships. And then we'd, we'd you know, wouldn't usually go for anything bigger than a frigate. Then a what? Frigate. It's a size of ship. Ah. Similar to this one. This one's this one's about the size of a frigate. I see, I see. Well, it's nice to see you again. It's good to uh, see you too. How have you been holding up? Uh throwing up several times from air signet, but otherwise Alright. <laughs> how is the uh the astral sea transportation to you? Did you throw well, up that time? No, but everything falls out of the cabinets when it happens. Oh. I'm yeah, sorry. Start molting everything down. You can, you know who could be a great helper in the kitchen for you. Oh, who's that? Hush. Oh? Because he can just move all the things back into the cabinets with his mind. That's a good point. Boy was looking for something to do last time, wasn't he? Yeah. He can be on kitchen cleanup duty. Ha! She like shouts your name out loud through the ship. (laughs) Just like gonna bubbles in Hush's head. Hush, don't panic. Walk just wants you in the kitchen. Okay. (laughs) He's on his way. He's not gonna throw me like Lorelei. No. Uh, well, for future reference, a lot of us can talk to Hush in our head, so you don't have to yell like that. Oh, all right, fantastic. I just figured he'd come here if he could hear me. Right, right, right. He's gone, Hush, he's gone. Hush walks <laughs> in with a bubble on his head. How are you? What? The- <laughs> oh, connect. Hi, Walk. Why do you have a bubble? Oh, I. it's hot. The bubble's cold. And I can breathe underwater. All right. You want to help me uh, fix these cabinets up because you can move stuff with your mind? Uh, yeah, I can. Uh, is that it? Yeah, just thought I'd give you a job to do. You can help me organize the cabinets whenever they get knocked around by us flying or teleporting or stuff. 
Hush like gets like a big smile on his face. I know you've been wanting something to do around the ship as a proper sailor. You can be my gallery assistant. All the all of the all of the the cabinets start opening up and stuff starts floating. Just make time. sure you put everything in places where I can reach. Is like stuff goes moving around. As this happens, I start. I sl silently slide out of the room. Float away. <laughs> <laughs> like Matilda is like. <laughs> shoo, 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 shoo. You and Walker are sitting there organizing. <laughs> I'll sit there organizing with Walk. Lotus, what are you doing during this time? As I hush as. He uh, last you saw Eggold was on the top deck when you were getting set up ready to go. But if you go looking for him, you will actually find him down on the bottom deck now, uh, seeming to mess with the railgun. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll... Since Lotus was last with Hush, uh, Lotus will just tell Hush as he's leaving, um, that she's gonna go talk to Eggold, and she's gonna head down. Um, and she's gonna... Walk up to Eggold behind him, jump up, and kind of put her 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 knees over his shoulders, and just kind of like put her chin on his head, like just the full boom. Yeah, kind of like a he has a helmet now, like a koala. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, so he's sitting there. He's like just messing with a like a little console adjusting things and all of a sudden you just boom and he's just like ah, ah, ah. Hey. hi hello i hey. need to talk to you about a few things I, okay did you have to do it from there yep are you okay. busy i mean i'm i'm going over a bunch of information that those artificers gave to me about firing this thing so but i mean i can take a minute okay well i'm gonna take five um so, like, you know where we have to go after we go to Twinktania, right? Did people tell you? I'll be honest with you. I'm I'm still trying to wrap my head around the whole traveling to the astral plane real lickety split to go places. I, I sort of have been tuning out a lot. Okay, well, we're going through the astral thingies and then we're... After we head to Twinktania and drop down Archibald, we're going to the Empire to go and save a person, um, one of the Holdmasters. Uh... So here's my thing, right? Like, I know we're doing all this stuff so that we can save people and like it's super heroic and we're saving the world from potentially ending. But I really thought we were going to Dragon Lost. And I know, like, you know, nobody else cares about going to see ratings. Like, maybe Dolus cares, but he just hasn't said anything about it. But, like, I just want to see my dad again. And it's super weird because the other me is also with my dad. So then even if I go and talk to him, there's, like, the, Hey, I'm actually a clone! I <laughs> you do like that. Oh, okay. breaking down. She starts oh, well, breaking I mean, down. Like he keeps just like reacting in his face to everything you're saying, and then you finally like break down on top of his head, and he's just like, and, like reaches up above and just. Mm. <laughs> just gives your head like pats and scratches. Are you um? Good. It's, it's just, I'm kind of struggling with the fact that we have heroic things we need to do, but also I have other things that I want to do but aren't as important, and even if we do those things, I don't know how I'm going to talk to him. Okay, um, uh, well, first off, why don't you just, like, tell him what happened? Because, I mean, we're operating under the assumption that he doesn't know. So why don't you just let him know? But, but how do I tell him that, hey, I'm a clone, by the way. Made by a super powerful elf. Because the original that has been talking to him was, uh, uh, became fucky-wucky in the head. 
I'm behind the curve on this information. You're not the original? No. Okay, got it. Glad we Archibald, figured out. Uh, Ar Ar Archibald <laughs> got real lonely and then made me. Made us. And then the other me was tortured or whatever and then shown great things about what the world could be. Um... And then beat the shit out of Archibald. Archibald's your dad? No. Well... He got lonely and then he made you. People get lonely and then they make people. That's... <laughs> <laughs> He's just like... Oh, like he magically made... Oh, oh, oh. Ah! <laughs> got it. Okay. I was very confused for a minute there. So, anyways, I'm just real conflicted because it's like column A is all these great things we should be doing. Column B are these other things that we that I want to do but aren't as important. Column C is if we do those, what are the chances that Raiden's gonna be like? Okay, that's cool. Let's go live in Yubua. Can I just say above the table, I love how all of this is happening while you're still, like, riding on his shoulders like a fucking koala. And he's just sitting there. And he's like, um... Okay, well... I mean, he's your dad. And you're a kid. So, even if you're only sort of like his kid, you're still his kid. And... If you told him everything that happened, I'm pretty sure he'd be fine. Because, I mean, you talk about him all the time like he's a fucking messiah or something. So I think he'd probably be cool about it. Maybe. I think if anything, your main worry should be whatever the other you is telling him. Since she's, you know, kind of scary. Yeah, but... I just feel like the longer we don't get to him, I don't even know how long that she's been in contact with him. And the longer we're further away, the more Raiden will get convinced that, I mean, that is the real one. I mean, I'm still real. Are you sure you're not having issues with the real thing more than you are with the the other things? I don't know. There's a lot going on. He just like he grabs your thighs and he like picks you up entirely because <laughs> you're small. And he just like drops you <laughs> and catches you. And just puts you down. <laughs> turns you around, so he's got a hand on either shoulder. Lotus. Relax, okay? I mean, look. There's a lot going on, but also Raiden, from everything we've learned about him in the last few months, is an immortal dude who fought the universe itself 70 years ago, and then his, like, fiancé died in the event. And he's still cool with you and Dolith. Sorting it all out, I don't think this is going to be the craziest thing he's ever had to deal with. Yeah. And when it comes to you or her... I mean, she's kind of a murderer. <laughs> so you're... I mean, I'm also kind of... Your court. I'm also, you know... If a murderer is just like people that who, who have killed, then I'm also kind of a murderer because I've killed people. Yeah, but you only kill not innocent people. She kills innocent people because I mean, like she killed me. Well, I guess I'm not really an innocent person. I'm a pirate, but um, I mean, you were innocent in the way that like you weren't involved in all of that stuff. Yeah, exactly. See, you don't kill people who aren't involved in situations, right? Like if a random person came up onto the street and punched you, don't get me wrong, he'd be a dick, but you wouldn't kill him, right? I'd probably beat him up. It's, see, no, but that's fair. That's that's even. That's 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 good response. 
Maybe. It's kind of hard because, like, I'm not in that situation, so I wouldn't actually know how I would be feeling yes, at the time. I think it's easier because you're not in that situation, actually. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I just... Lotus, just tell me you wouldn't kill a person. <laughs> really easy. No. Depends on the situation, because Depends sometimes... <laughs> Sometimes killing is necessary because. Well, yeah, I know something. that, but you're too. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Stands back up to like full height. He puts his hand on your head, like like not even your head, like he like palms your face. Uh <laughs> then he just. <sighs> Right now, we have to go to Saracen to save a cat or something, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Which means you have more time to figure out what you're going to do. Also, now that these astral path things are a thing, A, I'm going to throw up way more often on the ship. B, it is going to make traveling so much faster, which means once it's finally time to go to Dragon Lost, we won't have to spend the days or weeks it would take to get there. Instead, we can just get there. So think about it like this. If we were going straight to Dragonlost, you would have to think of what to say to Raiden tonight. Mm -hmm. But now you get however long this takes. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm not mm -hmm. going to lie. I'm not super excited about fighting you again. I mean, you probably won't have to fight me. Yeah, that's good, because last time you killed me. <laughs> yeah, and, like, they they get stronger from what it seems, because, like, you know, time and Vecnos magic. Wait, did the Star Lost get stronger? I mean, from the way it seems, because, like, you... Uh, like I barely fight. punched other you one time in the last fight, and you broke Harmon's spine and killed to me. To be fair, you probably wouldn't be able to land a punch on me as me. That's not a to be fair. That's way worse. You see how that's worse, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. You know, honestly, maybe having Raiden on her side is a good thing. Because then she can have somebody she depends on who, once you show up and explain the situation, turns on her, and suddenly she is backed into a corner. But what if there won't be time to explain? What if Raiden just sees me as, like, you're not my little bird girl? They'll kill um, you. If you just saw Dolis, would you just kill him? No. Even when you fought other Dolis, didn't you hesitate? Yeah, I think I punched a few of the shadows he created first. Because I didn't know what was going on. Okay. He... if Raiden cares about you at all. He's not gonna, he's not even gonna throw the first punch, let alone a sucker punch. Hmm. Other me will probably try and kill me. Yeah, probably. Probably didn't help that Dolis took claim for murdering her brother. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But these are decisions we make and we live with them. Um... And other people live with them. Me, I live with everybody's decisions. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Um. Also, um, so, you know, like, Dolus was in the Underdark and stuff, right? Yeah. And... No, I didn't know that, but now I know. Okay, well, Dolus and Twink went to the Underdark, and they got okay. it because our Lashna is really cool. Um... And, you know, Dolus and Alina are, like, you know, 
Banging. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I gathered. Um... <laughs> and, like, I've talked to Dolus about how he's spending more time with Alina, and, like, I'm trying to be a good person about it, and trying not to let it bother me, but it's real hard. And I mean, like, I know I want to talk, I've been hanging out with Hush all the time, and it's like, you know, if I'm hanging out with Hush, who's Dolus gonna be hanging out with, and so uh, Dolus is just gonna go and hang out with Alina. Am I Lotus. jealous? I, yeah, no, 100%. Um, but that's fine. Jealousy's fine. People feel jealous. But it, like, I'm jealous of somebody who is super nice to me. Yeah, that's fine. You can, that seems you can be jealous. Up. Of, you can be jealous of someone and it not the whole, it not be a personal thing. Just the way you feel. It's just like how you can be mad at somebody and they didn't really do anything wrong. They just did something that bothered you. It's like they're not a bad guy. You just they have feelings. It sucks. And now I can think more. So it like equally sucks. What the fuck does that mean? I'm super smart now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna know my multiplications really well. I'm still struggling a little bit on my subtraction. I learned I learned last night. But like Okay. Putting aside whatever the fuck that's about. Um Yeah, you're be jealous. That's fine. You know what you should Really sit on though? Why are you jealous? Probably because Adolis isn't spending time with me and I don't want to insert myself between him and Alina and like we talked about it and like, you know you know, in storybooks it's like, hey, we have a problem, we talk about it, everything's okay, but it doesn't feel okay. Kids, sometimes you just have feelings and have to have, like, you talked about it, you told him you are kind of jealous, and he heard, and now you can just exist like that for a little bit. That's okay. I don't want to exist like this! Yeah, I don't want to exist in, like, any capacity, but we're both here, so... What? <laughs> Look. You and Dolus aren't always going to be able to be together. What did you think was going to happen in a year or two when you were an adult and both of you were out of this adventure and able to just do things? You, you're just going to live in the spare room in Raiden's hut in Yubua and have a potato garden for the rest of your life? Oh my god, you did. You really did. Um. And I mean, an adventure with him, maybe. No, no. I wanted to be a pirate, but he said no. Yeah, it's really cool actually uh but yeah anyways um you want to go do stuff you want to adventure you want to be a pirate you want to travel the world dolis wants to have a house and go hunting small creatures occasionally really often actually he really he wants to shoot like anything that moves that's smaller than a foot tall um and that's okay. You guys can want like different things. You could hang out on holidays or when he's around or when you're around. You could just you could just be family that sees each other occasionally. I don't like that. And then how it is a lot. Lorelai didn't see her sister for hundreds of years. But that's because they don't like each other. It's also because they're dragons and they can have that much time. But what I'm saying is, go be a pirate. Let him and Alina do whatever they're doing. Find things you like to do that 
aren't just talking to Dolis. Like, like hanging out with Hush. You love hanging out with Hush. If you spent every spare second of your time with Dolis, you would never hang out with Hush. Yeah. If you spent every second of your time with Dolis, you never would have gotten the chance to shoot with me and Lorelai. Mm -hmm. You and Dolis being apart is good. Not saying you should force it, because you shouldn't. You shouldn't force anything, but just let let things happen. It's okay to have things happen. It just feels bad. That's because it's new. <laughs> new things are scary. I wish I could just be multiple. I guess I am kind of multiple. Just have different parts of my brain be different people and then we can all like do different things and at the end of the day merge together so that I can have all of the experiences with people and do the things that I wanted to do. Magic is possible. Do Why are you looking at me like that? Do you want to end up Delilah? Is that how Delilah's thing works? I don't know. I just know there's like 12 of her. <sighs> and no one likes any of them. Hmm. I'll put, I'll shelve that for later. I'll sh I <laughs> just like leans over the console and just stands back up and just look we're gonna be in Twintania in like 30 minutes we'll go shooting we'll go look at the volcano you can show hush around it'll be awesome and I bet money that while you're out there hanging out with hush you won't even think about Dolis and Alina Please stop thinking about your brother and his girlfriend. Honestly, a little, it's a little, it's, it's going to get weird. I, I'm more so thinking about my brother because I love him. It, it, it's just Lena is also there now. Yeah, and she might be there forever. I, I don't know. I don't know what level of relationship they're at, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to like put a stamp on that, but sometimes it, they're permanent. Yeah. Marriage and all that type of thing. Yeah, I mean if you're if you subscribe to that, then yeah. <sighs> okay. Did you are you good? Did you get it off your shoulders? Uh -huh. Onto mine. Um uh -huh. Great. <laughs> By the way, there's a new elf lady on the boat, and she's the one who does the astral pew pew, astral shoop shoop. So. Is it the blue one? Uh huh. Okay. She's. She's cool. Yeah. You hesitated. I had to think about whether being able to feel emotions was cool, and then I started thinking about how she's cold. And how she said that she was cool and then started dancing. So I was confused as to which type of cool you were talking about. I didn't used to think about this many things before. And now things just come to me and it's wild. I could have been dead. Um. Well, I'm glad you're not. Thanks. All right, let's go elsewhere, please. <laughs> let's, okay. Not Good you. Talk. Just let's let's just go. Let's go. I need to go too. Yes, Kay. Hi. Uh. So when I was last left off, uh, I yeah, just I sort of your DM. Don't worry. Meandered around. I'm just saying it uh, to above, above the table. 
Uh, Dolus was just sort of meandering about downstairs to see if there yeah. was shit to do. And then Lotus started having a breakdown downstairs. So he started heading downstairs. And that whole time, Dolus was on the stairs to the downstairs, just eavesdropping. Uh, I was about to say that as they yeah, walked up. <laughs> but I do I well no, because I'm leaving. <laughs> as <they're, laughs> as Eggold's like, oh, as you're uh, uh, let's go. And Dolores just floats away. Silently. Dolus floats like a foot above the ground. Where where do you go? You just go back. I go to into the, the sleeping quarters. The sleeping quarters, okay. Pretend like I was there the whole time. Eggled, Eggled brings Lotus up to the top deck so they can get fresh air because he has because so much just happened. <laughs> Is there anyone in the sleeping quarters? Uh, either, there are a lot of people in sleeping quarters, actually. There's oh. several of the NPCs just kind of like hanging out as you step in. And they're all just like, oh, hey, like, hey, hey. A lot of them are like getting out of their winter gear back into normal gear. Mm. Anyone like that I would care about? <laughs> Anyone that you can, I mean, I mean, your favorites there. <laughs> my number one favorite Kaeda's NPC, Kaeda. <laughs> oh my god. There. She's hanging out with, she's talking to Girder. Awesome. I'm going to go to the top deck now. <laughs> 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 yeah, you, you hang out in there for a minute. Uh, Lotus up on the top deck. Eggled convinces you to spread your wings while he holds on to you so you can just get like the full speed like caught in your wings. <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> Partway through as he's like hanging onto your legs a really solid gust hits and he like goes off the top deck like an inch and his eyes go wide and then he lands again and he's just like <laughs> he like, doesn't <laughs> see anything. <laughs> you, just, you just chill there. Dolus, you... you peek up onto the top deck and that's what you see you just see eggle like holding onto lotus that's really dangerous it's fun do i mean for eggled oh be fine. <laughs> okay Dolus, look so much speed no i feel it i i don't <laughs> need it i don't need to look <laughs> <laughs> Hickory Doc. I guess Doc. Hey. Where'd you go? I'll go talk to Annie. Okay. Annie is just taking notes on Lorelei for the first yeah. chunk of time, and then you walk up to her. She's just chilling on the stairs in the wind. <laughs> Yo! Yeah, you! I think he froze. Oh no, you're muted. Do I hear him over the wind? <laughs> yeah, he shouts. I want to look over and then I just kind of look back and start taking notes. Hey, come on! Oh, are you... Not her. No, you! Oh, why? Don't want to talk! Oh, okay. Walk up. I was gonna try and learn how to drive. Oh, that? I mean, yeah. I could give you some notes on that. I should I, I not to... ask the captain, though. Lorelai likes her personal space when she's at the wheel. Hmm. Lorelai likes her personal space pretty much all the time, actually. She seemed to really like when I was there. Oh, that's right. Oh. Yeah, that... Yeah. <laughs> what? Nothing, nothing. It's just that you're pretty and an elf, and she really likes things that are pretty and elvish. Okay. Um. But she's got really good hearing, and I can basically feel her eyes bearing <laughs> into me right now. So I'm going to stop my elaboration there uh, for sake of my own life. Eyes from Lorelai <laughs> yep. over your shoulder at you <laughs> as yep. you're like, you're yep. a pretty ended elf. <laughs> yeah. <It's> just 
So for my own sake, I'm not gonna explain that. Um, but I figured that we should get to know each other if we're gonna be traveling a bit. I know a lot about most of the other guys and um, yeah, I have no better explanation than really just, hey, you're if you're gonna be with us, I might as well know who you are. Okay. Like, uh, what was... What were you like before... This. The lockdown. Hmm. What was life like? I was, I was really into magic. I don't think that changed much. He just no, kind of looked really. at the gathering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What, well, did you have any siblings? A brother. That wasn't Mara. Yeah. Really? Yeah, like a full blood brother. And I. And your your parents? Did you did you did you know them well? Oh, very well. I realize it's a lot harder of a conversation to have because you have no genuine intrigue in anything that I'm saying, and so you'll tell this at the most basal level. Um, is it easier for you to ask questions? Um, I don't think I have any. About any of us? About any I of mean, this? I mean, you could just tell me things and I'll write it down. I mean, there's a lot to talk about. I mean, I am... Tomorrow, we have time, I, apparently, and I'll sit down. <laughs> I mean, I'm technically two people, more like me and my sister exist in the same stint of existence and then we'll switch bodies on occasion or switch points of existence on occasion um what emotion is that connected to for you confusion Happy? okay Just very confusing mm -hmm. and um well before this i i worked as a, a knight with my dad and i i messed up at one point and he passed away because of it and that I guess if you're looking for what emotions are tied to that that's regret I figured um, we've seen a lot of bad things happen to a lot of people we've seen wars break out we've seen families be split apart and entire homes sent into the stratosphere. Same. And I don't know if I would call it pity, but I would certainly call it a motivator to do what we do. Mm. None of us asked to save the world, I guess. But when the question was asked, we decided that the answer was yes. Hmm. Would you say that revenge is a motivator? A good one? I think it can be as long as it's not the only thing driving you. Revenge is how I lost my dad. People stole from I us. Don't I don't remember what dry feels like. It's kind of like... And he, he kind of stands and like turns his back to face like the back of the ship. It's kind of like if you had this wind constantly on your back, pushing you in a direction. Hmm. I don't think that's emotion, so that that should be easy for you to understand. It's like that, but in your head. So it's kind of like the equivalent of like a force. Yeah, it's kind of like if if you just had a bunch of water pushing against you, pushing in the direction that you're walking. So like kind of like if whenever I made myself cold, but it was so hot that it still felt hot. Um, kind of. I guess that's a, a so way to put it. So I keep making myself cold constantly. Well. To push back on that heat. 
No, because drive is it, it, motivation. It's it's meant to make you do better. Um, like if you're cold, then you know it, it gives you the the energy to be colder. And if you're going forward, it gives you the energy to run instead of walk. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So what 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 part are you playing in this war? Exactly, like just the. The heroes? I'd like to think so. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I would say that everything we've done is heroic. Mm -hmm. But it washed up. Oh, my uh, my family was like in the middle. They didn't really care which side to really, you know, sell their goods to. And uh, that's kind of what killed them. Right. We're not... Now, I guess I would say that because we have the full picture, it's much more heroic than just not wanting to see people we care about die. Now we're trying to stop the apocalypse. I'd say that's pretty Hmm. heroic overall, but not every heroic action has all heroic means that sounds exhausting I would say I I guess it's easier for you you can just weigh the pros and cons in an objective sense Mm -hmm. but with us we have love and fear we have these things that can make us selfish Hmm. Like the High Elves. <laughs> yeah, I kind of like the High Elves. Very prissy. Didn't like them. Star Elves are very chill. Yeah, they were... They were nice. Hmm. A lot but like Mara. Mara was a good guy. He... He meant best. He might have stumbled on occasion, but he was... He was good. Mm-hmm. So now, I guess, in a weird way, he's part of the drive now. Hmm. He died protecting us. Trying to stop whatever Martin's doing. So I push on in order to honor him. I'd say he's a soul worth fighting for. I'd say so too. (sighs) Did I pull off a good impression of him? I mean, visually, yeah. They're really just uncanny and unnerving. I probably won't do that again around you guys. No, no, it's deeply traumatic. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Yeah, we literally watched him turn to dust in front of us. It, uh, I mean, I still see it when I sleep sometimes. Oh. Hmm. That's not true. You don't dream. <laughs> no, I don't yeah, dream, I'm but I didn't. Be- you said I see my old memories, so you technicalities. <laughs> I I don't really sleep. I don't really dream, so I guess in a weird way we're even. Hmm. Feels like just a lot of time that I could be investing elsewhere. You know? I get the feeling. Unfortunately, I still need more than people like you do. So, I have to sleep, but I try to make the most out of whatever we've got now. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What is it like when you don't sleep? Uh, It's exhausting. It's like Mm. if somebody were sitting on your shoulders, just kind of makes it harder to do stuff. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Do you not remember what it's like to feel anything? Only anger. 
so you don't remember. And sadness. Because at least growing up, you had to have remembered joy or something like that. Just something from the past. I know you can't feel it, but you have to at least remember, right? Mm. It's hard to really wrap your head around it when it was like a hundred plus years ago. Right. Well, I've been on this revenge quest for a while. Hopefully with us, it can come to an end. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's not always going to be easy and we're going to have to take some risks, but if, um, if you can keep up, then we're happy to have you on. And he offers out the fist, realizing, not really processing the fact that somebody new has no idea what this means, really. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, just kind of like, are you trying to hit me? <laughs> oh, no, Um. so Mara and I used to, like, you, you, you touch fists and then I, and then it's like, boom. Uh, it, it's kind of it's like a handshake or a high five, but um, it's camaraderie. Exactly. It's like an, uh, yeah, I'm with you kind of thing. Hmm. Mm hmm. What emotion do you tie with that? Um, excitement a lot of the time. Hmm. It's that same kind of driving feeling to where you're like, when you, when you fist bump, you're like, yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Like you, you go right now. Like, you know, you know, I, I, I met a, a little cat that Really enjoyed the excitement. Nice little cat. Wore a red hat. Hang on. I'm sorry, Cryo. I just need a second. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> around this time, Lotus and Eggle come back up on the deck. And he start sort of, yeah, doing the doing the wind catching. Then Dolus peeks up. Hush, you finish organizing all of the cabinets. And walk sort of sort of semi ties them down with twine. You you come looking for everybody and you peek up to the top deck next to Dolus. Your bubble immediately just <laughs> again in the wind. Uh, and then perfectly on time, the bosun whistle goes off that familiar like cutting through above everything uh and it's the first time you've ever heard a bosun's whistle like ever uh but lo and behold anybody close enough to the railing actually i think the only person who's gonna have a good angle to see this as i think about it would be lotus being lifted up by eggle uh queen tanya is out in the distance below you guys <laughs> You like lift in and your wing adjusts in the wind and Eggle's like ah <laughs> you you like lean to the left and he pulls you further down. Is it? Yeah, babe, put your fucking arm down. <laughs> what does that sound mean? Is uh, there an emergency? No, it usually means that we're near land. Oh, okay. So we're probably almost there. Mm-hmm. You'll like the Lore people there. Lorelai's flipping all the, like, moving the levers and stuff. The ship's starting to slow down. You guys can feel it getting lower. A bunch of I don't people. think I will. Oh, yeah, you you can't like people. Hmm. <laughs> Good job, Pulse. A bunch of people start coming up <laughs> the stairs. <laughs> Pat, Hutch, and Dolis, like, saying hi to you guys as they pass you until eventually fucking just coming up behind you. Good old Goliath buddy of yours just um could you could you step aside please? Who? I'm sorry. Forgot his name. <laughs> One sec. Lachlan, Lachlan is the Goliath. Lachlan, thank you. Yeah, Lachlan. Who, who is he talking up to? Yeah, who are they talking yeah, to? Yeah, we were talking to Bullet and Hush who are on the oh. stairs up. <laughs> oh. Okay, yes. 
<laughs> I'm like, I'm like, hang on, I'm getting my fucking NPC sheet. Yeah, I know it's like, Lachlan. We just didn't know who he was talking to. Yeah. I'm glad you guys knew it was Lachlan because I was having. We fun. love Lachlan. I love Lachlan. Too. Lachlan I'm saved my life. He's my <laughs> second favorite large man. <laughs> Lachlan saved my life when we fell into the pit. <laughs> That's true. He did. My favorite is Dormo, by the way. <laughs> I love Dormo. Damn, walk is Dormo third. The island. Walk doesn't count. Well, he's, he's a, a big man. man. He's a different. He's a different large. <laughs> yeah. He's wide. Walk is wide. <laughs> we have wide okay. walk and large long ones. <laughs> <laughs> and dude, he's massive, Dormo. <laughs> Perfect. No, it's damn. 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 Oh, it's Dormo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everybody oh, comes stupid. up to the top deck and starts stringing stuff down or getting stuff ready as the ship starts swinging in towards Twink Tanya, which is growing rapidly on the horizon and visible as you guys come lower and lower. And eventually, Lorelai shouts out over the deck for everyone to brace as you guys are about to like make contact with the water. Uh, enough of a time that none of you have to roll for anything as you all just do brace. And then the ship just as it like lurches as it's gates to a stop on the water a few hundred feet off of the coast. There's a bunch of people on the beach who like go running back up into the into the woods in the direction that m most of you know Twink Tanya to be. As everybody on top deck just immediately goes about getting ready to start pulling stuff off the ship. Yeah, we're okay. back. Sailing I've never port. been here before. Uh, the dock is in a much nicer shape than the last time you guys were here. Nice. Looks like it's a proper, a properly built dock. All of the few middle uh, fingers. <laughs> yeah, I'm missing a couple fingers. <laughs> um, no, it's all it's all perfectly set up. As you guys come to a stop at it, the 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 old remains of the prior ship that Shade set refugees had used to get here is still there it's just bare bones now and just enough to float yes Dolus. as we were i'm sorry if you said this and i didn't catch it as we were flying over and approaching did it look like there were any other additions to the island <laughs> no no at a glance okay. and you with your great knowledge of terrain and geography you would recognize it does not seem like there have been any new additions to the island as you did we lose anything at the island uh no seems like okay. it's just as you left it all right uh, and how are the how are the sky islands? Still there, still chilling, floating around. Cool, cool, cool. But yeah, so for for Annie and Hush, for for Hush properly, because Crow also hasn't been here because we haven't been back to Twink Tanya in forty fucking episodes. This is for me. Um, <laughs> this is a big moment. Um, <laughs> Twink Tanya spreads out in front of you. All of those lovely sandalwood trees, the nice beaches, the waters extremely clear as it laps up to the sand. Hush, you're taking it all in a shock and you look up and there are these floating sky islands smattered around this island that have some of them have waterfalls coming off of them. Others just have vines dangling down. All of them seem really it's it's gorgeous here. It's beautiful and you look at up and there is what appears to be a volcano just chilling in dead center in the island. This massive, like, structure in the center. Like, like point, over, point over on Lotus. Or, wait, no, Lotus is way back old, but I, like, connect to Lotus. I'm here. Oh, okay. I point I was standing poking. right next to you. I poke, you poke Lotus. With the punch. You realize it's not Lotus. You connect to Lotus. <laughs> wait, I'm gonna connect to Lotus. We own this? Well, um, <laughs> in a squatter's rights sort of way, maybe, uh, n we own it in the same way that if you found a piece of gold on the street and put it in your pocket, you owned that gold. So we found it and then claimed it. Yes, but so did a couple of other countries. We're just the first ones to say that we are a country who lives here. 
So we own it. Yes. So I'm allowed to go swimming. Oh yes, no, absolutely. I just didn't want to. I just didn't want to go swimming if we didn't own the place. You can also go swimming in like other water. You don't need to own the the ocean to swim I don't in know. it. No, I don't go swimming. I was raised. Okay, in well, I'm telling you right now. You die. I'm telling. That's not true. Well, I'm telling you right now. Uh, you can swim in any body of water you really want to, unless it is specifically like a private owned pond, I guess. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't going to get in trouble. To yeah, no, I understand. You don't have to explain yourself. Yeah, I'm just I'm informing you. I'm allowed to tree to teach me how to swim. As long as it's not in front of a large group of people or in front of any people really who you haven't priorly informed that Petri is not a horrific beast that will tear them to shreds as he is wont to do. A lot of How many people live here? Well, um Every time amount. a question about Trintani gets <laughs> asked and Dolce goes <laughs> um, a quick good reminder amount. of the general layout of Twintania in the private uh, the, the private voice chat, or not voice chat, text chat. Okay. Yeah, it's like at the dock nugget. up in the top left. It looks like a chicken nugget. It does like kind of look like a chicken, chicken nugget, nuggets like a McDonald's. Don't have shapes. It looks like a. <laughs> yeah, they do. McDonald's How does. Oh, dare, McDonald's has How four shapes you? of chicken nuggets. There's the circle. That's not a chicken there's nugget. The boot, That's a McNugget. There's nugget. the bell. That is huh? a fucking McNugget. You're a McNugget. <laughs> hey. Say the name if that's what you mean. Are you about I'm to are you about to are you about to um this actually is the nuggets? Weirdest, weirdest yeah. hill that you have chosen <laughs> to It's <laughs> not a chicken <laughs> sandwich, that's a McChicken. <laughs> like, <laughs> what are you a spokesperson? Like what the Big are Mac you, isn't you, a hamburger, you, it's a Big Mac. That's not man, water, this, that's Aquafina. This man that's not is Sprite, a that's battery operative, acid. A secret <laughs> operative by Big Mac. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kate, finish your lesson on the McNuggets. So, yeah, no. So there's the bell, there's the boot, there's the circle, and then there's the fourth one. I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the fourth one. Isn't it the bow tie? Isn't it the bow tie? <laughs> I don't fucking. I just I don't know. For those listening, for McDonald's. <laughs> this is so shapes. fucking stupid. This is such a dumb thing. Uh, <laughs> it's the bell, the ball, the boot, and the bone. <laughs> <laughs> this is a. This is absolutely a bone. Look at Ray, it. Why, 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 why am I reading Please your thoughts? And this is what you're thinking about. You saved me. Ray, so yeah. Anyways. Oh, sorry, Ray. Go ahead. <laughs> I, I wanted to remind <laughs> Hush slash Crow that Lotus has talked about the different things in Twinktania, uh, like how we have a volcano and like the different planes mm. and stuff. But it's all like very generally broad, and like she has scribbled down like a very rough version of the map, of just like her perception of it, kind of. But it's pretty accurate because of her background. So, mm -hmm. yeah, just wanted to it's, remind it's, you. It's incredibly accurate on the concept. It's just the actual artistic interpretation of it is, is <laughs> Yeah. It, in that moment, just like, notice this drawing was a lot smaller than this place. <laughs> <laughs> That's so oh, good. No. <laughs> That's... Okay. Those headbands um... don't work. We need refunds. <laughs> Uh, they do work! They do work! You just don't off. understand the intelligence he has! <laughs> Twink steps off. Apparently he's only intelligent about things fucking, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Twink yeah, steps he, off the moment the gangplank is down, uh, and out from the woods along the path, uh, Madame Overe comes alongside several other just general folk who seem to be coming along to help move things along. She does her, like, wave to everybody and just... Hello, hello, hello! Hey! Hi. We're oh, all so good to get back. Hello, oh, new faces! Mm -hmm. Right. Hush, come in. I'm in a Annie? bubble. Hmm? This is Hush. 
You're smacking the bubble. <laughs> yeah, oh just outside the bubble. <laughs> it's like when... <laughs> it does Hush only breathe underwater? No, he's just cold. Also, he t- he speaks in people's heads. So, is it okay if he... Yes, certainly. I see no reason why not. Okay. okay connect to his, I connect, I connect to their head. I have a giant frog. He's okay. She like she she expects you to just like say hello and introduce yourself and, just, and you're immediately just I have a giant frog it's okay and she's like <laughs> looks at Twink and just he has a giant frog and that's okay and Twink looks at you <laughs> and then Twink is like no it's not it's not okay it's not okay <laughs> it's okay it's not okay so it's that's okay. that's Annie. Hello. It is a pleasure to meet you. I am Voila Over. Very nice to meet you. I think. Uh, so, Annie. <laughs> cold. Cold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm realizing every time we have to introduce people, we kind of have to introduce you guys with like a, another section. A disclaimer. Yeah. The, this one it's only really talks to people's funny. heads, and this one is completely devoid of emotion. You know, really please fun. do not feel Magically. offended by anything that uh, Annie says. Uh, she physically cannot experience any emotion uh, or Which is, feeling. I can, I, I can turn into something that looks like it has emotion. Yes, no, but don't do you're that. okay. Uh, I mean, you already look like you do. You just don't. <laughs> uh, it's nice to see you all again. Um... I hope you've been holding up well. Um, yes. Certainly it's been quite an eventful few weeks. For you as well, I have heard. Uh-huh. It was a great fun. Yeah. I am sorry about a Miss Owana. Yeah. But it is good to have you back. The work on your lovely little home has come along quite well, as well as the rest of the town. Uh, the crops are doing marvelously, the magical trees are growing uh, magically, and um, we haven't had much more trouble with the boar since Madame Vala has taken her position. How's she doing? Ooh. Oh, she comes into town occasionally likes to play pranks on the townsfolk. Non-fatal play- pranks? Well, not fatal, but certainly horrifying. Um, That's the green the dragon, right? Day, mm-hmm. uh, the other day, we had her come into town, um, and uh, she had taken on the guise of someone else. She snuck into their home, uh, spent pretty much the entire day with their loved ones, and then when they returned home, turned it into a big dramatic show of no i am the real one no i am the real one until eventually she got bored and then she just threw a smoke bomb down at their feet and ran out lotus at that point was like that hits too close to home and then the smoke <laughs> bomb comes up and you're like that's amazing <laughs> <laughs> yes uh there's also the time uh she put a more diluted version of her paralysis potion, uh, but specifically only into the uh, into the, the vegetable soup when we were doing vegetable and boar soup for everybody. So if you had any of the vegetable soup uh, for about 10 minutes, you could not move. During that time, she went around and drew on their faces. Starts writing stuff down. It's by- Good. Other than that, right? She well has not anyone. That's no, good. No, no that's that's good. Um, has she been doing anything helpful? She keeps she the whole population the contained, and any she does not want to eat, she gives to us. Okay, that's helpful. Has she been apothecarying? She is currently building her apothecary. Uh, I have asked her for a few potions, and she has provided them. Uh, Usually with large amounts of, how you say, snar. Oh, yeah. No, she's kind of a bitch. Yeah. Yeah. 
No, it's okay. Also, she, I can't really talk poorly about her too much because she likes to just shapeshift into anyone around the island, so I can't even complain about it to anyone uh, except for except for Hiwan on occasion because she, apparently she does not like turning into, into Hiwan. Are you Bala right now? You got me. No. I'm very just. No, I am not. Bala. <laughs> Good job, though. Stay. Stay away. <laughs> okay. She already kidnapped me once. I mean. Do you want it to happen again? She's kind of hot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's not where I imagine you finishing that I, sentence. I, you know, it wasn't the worst thing in the world. She didn't kill Bala me. Kid, Bala kidnaps Doc and unlocks a new kink immediately. <laughs> Doc will remember he's, he's this. Like, he's like, you know, getting tied up by hot, hot dragon ladies is not the worst thing in the world. <laughs> ah. Where does she want to stay? Uh, in the uh, bog that she made. Yes. Where she is that? made a swamp down in the southern part of the island. Hmm. So. Where's that way? Starts walking. <laughs> no, I would not write. No, Ellie, no. She said that if anybody comes in there, she will kill them immediately. Did she say that? That's what Mara said. She has threatened the death upon intruders several times. Usually they just tell her they're there to do something or get something, and then she just asks them to do something silly in recompense. You know, she doesn't also she also doesn't know you, so you're a real outsider. So uh, she might kill you. Yeah. Hmm. You should probably go with someone who knows her. Y'all want to go with me? Not particularly. <laughs> We really, we, we're project focused here. We're really just here to drop off Archibald. <laughs> I'm getting my shit. <laughs> okay. Are we leaving immediately? I can't imagine we'd be waiting around too long. We have to go and do a Bye. prison break. Are we leaving immediately? We have to restock. We're going to spend the night. Okay. Oh, okay. Ta-da. My excuses to not go are falling apart around me. <laughs> swimming. Well, you guys have fun uh, going and talking to the dragon lady. Mm. I am going to stay here and talk to... She looks at Twink, who has walked along the dock and is inspecting various crates. Just... And there he goes. Yep. She follows Lovely seeing after. you again! <laughs> of course, fantastic. Enjoy your house. Okay. I'll Where's like... the house? We could show you that, and then maybe you'll forget about oh. going to the swamp where the dragon might eat us. No, I probably won't because I wrote it down. Son of a bitch. Trinktownia, yeah. It's Let's in Trinktownia. Let's go to Trinktownia first, hush. We can go swimming later. I'll be right there. I'll get back up towards the ship. I'm going to wait okay. for Archibald. Archibald gets his stuff, passes Dolus, as Dolus comes back up. Just, oh wait, are we, are we, are we saying? No, no, we keep, going? Go, keep going. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Goes down the rest. Dolus, what are you I'll, doing? Go. I'm gonna go up to Alina. I'm gonna take her hand in mine. I'll be like, Whoa. I'll be right back. And I'll give her a little oh, kiss on okay. the cheek, and then I'll go oh. into my ring. Oh. Okay, just puts it on, and then just goes back to what she was doing. <laughs> What are you doing in the ring? Uh, I just, so <laughs> I, you want me to, uh, to go to someone else first? Yeah, it's gonna be a lot. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, so, it's gonna be a thing. Oh, okay. Okay, well, cool. Well, I bet I could uh, find the dragon. We know where the dragon so the is. So kids, the kids head for Twin Town, yeah. Mm. Uh. Doc waits for Archibald, and then Doc and Annie and Archibald follow behind a, a fair distance. Yes, hush! I was gonna... I poke Lotus. Like, could we fly around the island? I wanna look I wanna look around. I have never got to experience it like this. Sure. 
I don't know where Dulles went, so I can't really ask for permission. I mean, it's fine. It's just Tunk Danny. Yeah. I need you to lead the way. Okay. I learned from my last mistake that I don't have great a great mind when I do this, so I just need you to lead, and I'll follow. Okay. Wait. I cast Polymorph. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just in the middle I of her. a giant vulture. It. <laughs> uh. Ah! Uh. I saw Mara turn into it. <laughs> okay. Which is they are larger than Hush. I have uh, six intelligence, which is not great, but I have a 12 wisdom. Yeah, for animals, it's pretty good. And you also have wisdom. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've... look. I'll, I'll look towards the other two that are there. Like, I'm going to go with Hush to explore. So we'll see you guys in Twinktownia. Cool, glad the psychic who has long distance uh, talking just turned into a bird. Can I come with you? Ah! Can you fly? I mean, I could carry you, but then Doc will be alone. Wait, wait, no, I still, I would, no, no, that's, no, no, not, not Polymorph. Oh, nope, while you lose wait, all I your can... speaking abilities. That's fine, you'll be fine. I can fly. You can fly? Okay. You. Are you gonna be lonely, Doc? Do you wanna... I have Archibald. Okay, <laughs> bye bye. I have room. I, I, you know, at least one of Come us find has the to dragon see the kid with off. Me. I'll find the dragon after. You can find me, cause then she probably won't kill you. And then we'll go to the dragon. Why did I just sign up for that? I'm an idiot. <laughs> Archibald, let's go. <laughs> okay. I haven't met the new dragon. He like mutters as you guys walk past and he pulls out a broom. <laughs> Do you want to meet the new dragon? I mean, kind of. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess it's Vala. I've met Vala, but when I met her, she was like a little elf who was yeah, but then an angry could, capitalist. Yeah, that's a good point. Wait. I lived in Sanctuary for 15 oh, years. Oh shit, yeah, that's right. I forgot that Vala was there for like an extended period of time. That's me forgetting. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Vala no, was there for an like, extended what? I lived in Sanctuary for like 60 years, Don. Right, 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 yeah. I mean, I, we can go meet her and, you know, I'd actually probably feel safer with you around. Um, I mean, you shouldn't. I'm currently running at like basic level magic. I can't do much. Yeah. But... Give me like 10 minutes of casting and I'll kill her and myself at the same time. Let's not do that. We literally no. just got you to safety. Yeah. <laughs> The three of you take off. As they take off, I'm just like, I'm sorry you're stuck with one of the new guys. I'm sure you would have liked to have been sent off by the people you traveled with. I mean, it's fine. We'll spend the night here. Plus, like, I don't know. We haven't hung out. I don't know anything about you. That's true. You and your sister are one person. Your dad's dead. That's all I've gathered. Okay, so I've got, I mean... I did a lot of like mythology reading when I was growing up, so I I know a lot of. Okay. Well, I guess uh, not all of it's true because we met a vampire and he wasn't like what the book said. Oh yeah, that fucker's here somewhere. <laughs> he like is looking around. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I was on this island, all it had was some boar and trees, and now there are dragons and vampires and Twink Townia. Yeah, yep, and also the elemental plane of fire, air, uh, and the fey wild. Oh yeah, there are fey here. Well, they actually kind of keep to themselves because Mara and I guess all of us kind of deeply traumatized them because you know we showed up and then the planes fell apart. Oh, me and the fey have stuff in common. He just like keeps walking. <laughs> I didn't do anything to you, right? Like <laughs> Doc kind of like tries to keep up. <laughs> Uh, the three of you who are flying around, you just, you just flying about. I pretend I'm being tour guide. And so okay. I'm like, on your right, you see the volcano. There's like, you can go in it and it's super cool. I mean, it's super hot, but it, it's. I don't like that. I think. Ah! Okay. Well, even further along, there's the elemental plane of air. There's just islands. And there's like this river. There used to be a griffin. Uh, 
It's dead. Uh, what? Um, and uh, there's like this water that like the river that goes down, but then it kind of like disappears somewhere. I never really investigated, so I don't know shit about it. Um, you want over to there's... go there? Sure. That'd be cool. Let's go. <laughs> go to one of the floating islands that has water pouring off of it. The closest one is going to be actually the one that's over the, the fields, Lotus, as you fly over and there's like all of this sort of tilled land and like this garden and crops underneath you. You fly over. It's only the size of like maybe a football field. It's not like a huge farm, but it's it's a lot of food that seems to be growing as you fly over and it's all being misted on constantly by this waterfall that's coming off of this island water that seemingly comes from nowhere and just mists down to the ground below that Hush and Annie are seeing for the first time. Mm -hmm. Like playing yeah. in the mist. <laughs> you just yeah. dive through the water a bunch. Yeah. I think we had Happy bird noises. I think we had specifically moved our fields here for the water. I don't remember a lot of it because I didn't pay attention you would, uh, because of your feet, know where the location of this island was, and you would know the island has been moved, seemingly. Oh, what? Mm-hmm. And with your headband of intellect, you would remember that they said they were going to attempt to use the airship to tow the island and see oh. if it's possible to move them around. I forgot about that. You did, but Lotus didn't, because she has a yeah. head band of intellect. Um, what other, because I have crazy perception as well, what other islands from what I can see have also been moved? Even this so is the only one that has been towed, seemingly. Okay. So you get the idea that they probably moved this island, and then the ship came to meet you guys in the Eagle. Okay. Um, then I'll... There I'll are all, there's still damage and burn patches here and there from the, the dragon fight. A lot of it is recovering now. You see the tree in the distance for the Feywild. It doesn't look like anything has changed over there. Uh, there is a path that is properly being made now, seemingly, from Twintania up the side of the volcano to where you know the entrance is that was tunneled out by Alina all those weeks ago. Uh, and you see another path that kind of heads towards this darker, misty area of the woods that you know is Vala's bog. And then in the distance, you see the bamboo. Okay, I'll explain all that to them. Uh, so they also have, like, a way of the land and, like, where things are situated and stuff. Hmm. So is this, like, your secret hero base? I mean, kind of. This island mainly, Twintania. Mm -hmm. Twintania wasn't a country, and then we went to a country conference, and then it became a country, sort of. I think there's probably paperwork for that, but we've been doing well, I think. I mean, we have food growing, we have animals growing, we have protection. Um, uh, we... Uh, Rescued a lot of refugees with teleportation to here and housed them for a little bit before sending them back. I think we still have refugees. Mm. Yeah. And how powerful are you as a country? Could you destroy Shadestep? No. Mm, because... Okay. I mean, a lot of countries are, like, you know, with time they get more powerful, but Twintania is only like three months old, two months old. Oh, mm. So I think in terms of political power, we're still trying to get our feet in the ground, especially because Shade Step people are kind of mean. So they're mean and racist. Um, I could tell. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we probably can't like do anything about Shade Step or like anywhere really. We've we've just kind of been helping out where we can. Um, why not? We... What do you mean? Why not? Can't we do something about it slowly? 
I guess slowly we've been good friends with Yubua, but with like we have a dragon, right? Yeah, but we're kind of not supposed to tell the entire world that we have two dragons because mm -hmm. like we don't really we want to protect Twintania as like a safe house so that people don't come and ruin it all. But that's it's what I call political power. I guess, but <laughs> all the politics and stuff, it's you could go up to Sodden and tell him to sod off with the power of two dragons. Very we, easily. We could. I don't know if Lorelei and Vala want to do that, though. Because from the looks of it, they just kind of want to do their own thing. Lorelei just wants to be a <laughs> Captain Admiral, and Vala just wants to play pranks. Mm hmm. So, I mean, theoretically, we probably could, but in actuality, they don't really have to drive for it. And we can't really force a dragon to do things. Hmm. I have a lot in common with them. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, like, you don't have the drive to do things? Yeah. Uh, I mean, you have the drive to beat the poopy out of Martin. Yeah, that's uh, the last thing I remember. I mean, that's well, driving up. Died. Mm -hmm. As long as you have one thing, and then... As... But also the, the prank thing, and I I, uh, I used to... I, I, I would drive boats sometimes. Oh? So I, I wanted to drive the ship. I mean, I'm sure if you ask Lorelai, Lorelai would let you at least pull the levers. I can get a chance to. Next time, there's there'll be more chances in the future. We hang around mm. the airship pretty often. Mm hmm. Do you think we could find the dragon? Uh, Vala. Yeah. Uh, probably. Mm. I'm... Do you think they're detectable with through magic? Probably. Rama just threw her bag. If I'm remembering right, I think Mara, back when we, uh, when Vala was still big bad evil guy, Vala, uh, 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 Mara did like this detect poison thingy and then saw that Vala was filled with poisons. Mm. So that's probably a way to detect if uh, that, you know, it, it's her. I but. can't really do that, but. Mm, detect magic with a wand. <laughs> detect magic with the wand? Yeah, I have a, I have a wand of detect magic. Or wand of I magic detection. <laughs> what is the range on detect magic? That's a good Not question. Big. 30 feet. You are literally like 100 feet in the air right now. <laughs> You can you, detect you can the floating out. island in front of you and the bird that you know is Hush. Our imagination. <laughs> uh, what about the water? Like the that's it's coming out water. of like nowhere, just water. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's I'm like it's coming from magic. like a magic floating island, but mm -hmm. it's just mm. water. We should probably go down to the ground. Uh, yeah. Um... I want to find the dragon, right? <laughs> I like what the vulture head like <laughs> turns towards Lotus and it's like ah, ah, ah. kind of like a, uh, they cannot understand <laughs> maybe we look for Vala later cause she's real scary and I don't think I'm mentally prepared to see her again hmm her sister's not scary. I've been around Lorelai for far longer than I have been around Vala. Mm -hmm. And Vala almost snapped Twink's neck. Really, really close. I mean, Lorelai's been close, but like... Why is she so angry? Lorelai? I mean... No, 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 no. Uh, the, the sister. Uh... 
Give your ass that. I don't think she's angry. I think she just didn't like Lorelai, and we're friends with Lorelai. And then there was a the whole thing between them. It, it, you know, mm -hmm. sibling, dragon siblings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I like, I like fly over to Lotus, and I'm like, mm -hmm. I, I, how do I, how do I, how do I do this? Oh wait, I'll be fine. I'll just. Uh, I'm going to... Okay, so it's main action, but a second. Cryo. Yeah? I fell before. Now, no, I'll probably fall if I do this. I was gonna, like, stop Polymorph and just fly with my normal wings. But I'll probably fall before then. I would say there's a floating island right next to you so you can land real quick to unpolymorph and then just jump off with your wings. I beckon Lotus up to the up to the Lotus and uh Annie up to the floating island. You guys are like a few feet away from it already. You you flew up to look at it, so you're like there. Okay. So it's really easy to land. Just land real I just quick. like the wing goes over and like does like one of those like magic like transitions and it's just <laughs> Windows Movie Maker transition. <laughs> yeah. And then it's just hush. And then his spectral wings come out and I float over. Uh you, you can do that too. Fly? No, uh morph your being. Yeah, you saw me do it. I've been a vulture attention. this whole time. I thought Did you were you just, just think... a random Yes. <laughs> You just thought I was a vulture? Yeah, I thought you that you know she's a bird, you were a bird. I just saw birds hanging gills. out together. I mean, I'm a little more of a special case. But Lotus, can you carry me? Do you like birds? But like other birds? Who are you pointing at? Yeah, <laughs> Lotus. <laughs> oh. I mean, I like animal birds. Hmm. I couldn't. I couldn't tell you when I was a vulture, uh, but uh, Valo's probably angry because red dragons have very bad tempers. Not red dragons. Green temp. Green dragons have very bad tempers. Hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. Was it was just, just like in a their nature, biological thing. Yes. Mm hmm. Okay. They're mischievous. They have bad tempers. They lie. They're cruel. I'm also not super close with Vala, and so, you know, bringing two new people to her might be a little bit scary. Hmm. I didn't think we were going to Vala. I mean, I would like to talk to Vala, but if Vala is what I remember dra green dragons are like, and is less tame than Lorelei, I don't know if meeting Vala right now is a good idea. Maybe we wait for when there's more people. How did she feel about Mara? Uh, from what I remember, they hung out a lot, and Mara's Mara like pulling pranks, so they got along in that aspect. They made like these little balls of what were they made out of? I wanted they to say paint. paint. They were paintballs, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, these little balls of paint, and like they, it would stick to your clothes, and then it wouldn't go away for a little while, and then it went away. Hmm. What if I turned into Mara and tried Don't to look for her? Don't do that. Well, not in front of you guys, because uh, you guys have trauma, apparently. I don't know. I still don't think you should do that because you're still going in alone as an outsider. You know that's also, true. They might kill you once they know that you've deceived them that you were Mara. Mm. Cuz she she liked Mara, right? Seems like it. And if you walk up as Mara and it turns out Mara's been dead this whole time, uh, no, right, green dragons are cruel. Though she'll probably kill you. You know, I probably should have learned this from my last time that I tried this, and I'll write it down. You're learning. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
it's not a good idea to go uh, and tamper with a green dragon hidden as someone else, but... But... Pranks. Those are fun, I think. If Vala is tame, can we do tame? Do we do... If Vala... Uh, this is the Lotus. If Vala is tame, Mer, can we do pranks? As long as she's cool with it. Again, I I was never close to Vala, so I don't know what would set her off. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Yeah. I like how this whole conversation is essentially a loop of like, Lotus, can we do this with the green dragon? I don't know. I don't know her that well. What if we did this? I don't know. I don't know her that well. What about this? I and all the while don't I'm sitting here going, I'm literally like, don't go to the dragon. I said that before you left. For now, let's, let, let's continue going around. We can take a peek in the Feywild and see what people are doing there. We could go to the Feywild? There's a Feywa portion in Tantania. Uh, the people there, from what I know, they're, they've kind of, they're not super duper. They don't go out of the Feywild, because we might have uh, traumatized them when we not really kidnap kidnapped uh, Arlashna. Um, I want to go to the Feywild. Okay, let's you kidnapped a someone. We didn't kidnap her. She I used thought a you lot were of... heroes. We are heroes. Sometimes yeah. you kidnap. Sometimes we save we someone from being make... kidnapped, so I guess that it's only I'll keep fair. That in mind. It's on. Mm. We're on. We're on city ground. I would. I didn't mm. kidnap anybody. Mm. Mm. We didn't really kidnap her. She, you know, she's like really strong, and so. Uh, we just had to make sure she was with us. And correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, we had taken her because we were going to Westwood? Yes. Okay. And, like, we took her because we were going to where her people are. And she was passed out because she had saved us and used a lot of power. So... Not kidnapping. How she's vibrating. Uh, the, uh, Can we go to the Feywild? Yeah, let's go to Feywild. Let's take a peek. I've learned Those so people... much about the Feywild. He did not like the Feywild. Uh, yeah. Um, also, the way people are kind of weird because they can sometimes turn into animals. I don't know. In the Feywild? Mm. I'll pick up Hush. Uh, the people in the Feywild that are in Twintania Feywild. They turn into animals? Yeah, I think at one point in time, something spooked them, and then they, like, ran away, and some of them, like, turned into, like, these weird-looking creature things. Hmm. This did oh, happen, right, Cryo? Yeah, they can turn- they can turn into- into all sorts of weird fey creatures. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm I glad I wasn't remembering. Go. I want to go. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. I'm sorry that yes. you have to carry me the rest of the way. That's fine. You guys set off for the Feywild section of Twink Tanya. I, it, as we start flying, go, Doc, I'm back! Doc in Twink Townia, just, Doc, I'm back! Only, like, five minutes later, so you're like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was gonna say, Doc's in the middle of just, like, introducing Aldrich and Archibald, like, properly, and, you know, explaining the whole, like, legacy, familiar dynamic. So you're not actually an owl. No, 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 not actually. No. Although I sort of am. It's my preferred form. Okay. So you want me to refer to you as though you were an owl? Or are you like a, a knight or a gentleman? And then and then you get the message. Uh hey hush. I just wanna let you know because you said something when I left about a uh, long distance. Yeah, also that you guys, you know. Where are the other two? Uh, Lotus is carrying me. And, okay. Uh, Annie is on her broom. We're gonna go to the Feywild. You guys have Feywild here! Yeah, we do have the Feywild here. We gotta go to the Feywild. <laughs> <laughs> Doc kind of like turns to Aldrich and goes, Do you think they're like... 
the Fey rules still apply to that area of Twinktania? Like, do you think you can be... I don't know! Because it's not the Feywild properly anymore, but... But it but is. But it is. But it's not. Archibald, so do I don't... you want to... Do you want to go to the Feywild? I'll go... I'll go check on. I'll go make sure all is... I'll make sure no one loses their name and he just takes off. <laughs> okay. Archibald, do you want to go to the Feywild? I mean, you can no. drop your stuff, but okay. <laughs> Sorry, I just... No, that's completely understandable. I grew up in the Westwood. We we, we learned to not fuck with the Fey. Yeah. This, I mean, that's Ar kind of the reason why we I mean, Aldrich listen to will, Arch so much. Aldrich will take care of him. Ah. I mean, he's a Fey. He'll figure yeah. it out. Yeah. Yeah. Or they'll lose their names, and we have to go beat up Fey, I guess. Yeah. That'll be fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, we'll I be don't. safe. <laughs> mm, doubt it. I know so much about the Feywild. You know a I lot about a lot of things, but you still make decisions. I do. And I learn. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get thrown by Lorelai again. And I didn't fall down the stairs again. Yeah, I have but... proven you wrong. Just don't lose your name. I wouldn't give them my name. Smart. That's Make like sure nobody else rule. does. That's like the number one. That I everyone knows not to give them your name. Yeah. And yet. No, actually, no. You can make a good point. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I like that. Wow. Word to Annie. Don't give them your name, by the way. Why? Names have power. If they take it from you, they'll have power over you. Oh, I thought we were just going to be looking. I didn't... I don't feel comfortable. I oh, pulled out can... candy once and they kind of swarmed me, so I don't really feel comfortable being around them anymore. Am I not allowed to go in? Maybe I can not, lead but... the pack. We don't have to go in if you don't want to. If you're not comfortable with it, it's okay. I... Yeah... It, it, that is okay. Yeah, that's completely okay. If you're not comfortable with it, we don't have to go in. What I if can I look turned you far. invisible? She can already turn invisible. Really? Uh-huh. Huh. I have a little bit of magic. What if you turned invisible? Would you be comfortable? Hmm... Okay. Sure. Just let's not do anything bad because last time something happened and my brother's hand turned green. Mmm. I like cue into Lotus's head. Only Lotus is like, are you sure you're okay with this? You don't have to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It'll be okay. I know all the rules, not all the rules, but I know a lot of the rules of the Feywild. Is the number one avoiding it? It's like number three. Oh. Hmm. Most, mostly it's like if you get there, it's like if you can avoid it, you should. Don't go in. Don't that give them your name. Don't hand out small trinkets because they'll follow you. Don't hand out small trinkets? Don't take trinkets, trinkets either. What about a trade? Because we kind of, we did that. Mm, yeah, that should be fine. Because trades, you get to assign what you're giving and what you get. Yeah. There's not a lot of, like, wiggle room with that. If it There's... was a devil, no. Uh, I'll say this out loud so Annie can also hear. There's, like, this uh, marketplace there as well. Uh, that you can, like, trade things for. There was this guy with a bunch of keys. That's how Pink got his. Hmm. Um, I have a lot of gold, so... Might be even fun. Do they... Hmm. They didn't Did they... really... Lotus, do you remember? They didn't really give a shit about gold. They were more interested in stuff. They didn't Ultra really care for now. gold. 
No. Ah. They're they're fly they're flying too. He's he doesn't fly faster than them. They, they don't really take gold. It's more trade. I think what Just I'm remembering that. is that for the key I gave something, but I don't really remember it. So I think that's probably the Fey things. You don't remember it even with your headband? Nope. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, we need to be careful, okay? Yeah. Let's not let's not trade if we don't have to. I just wanted to go in and see. It's I've heard a lot of it. I heard a lot about <laughs> the Feywild and the mysteries and the mischief that happens and the things that can happen and uh, it seems intriguing. I just wanted to see it and see it firsthand because I heard about it a lot. It was one of the first things they talked to me about. Mm -hmm. There's a big first house and there's a big tree and then there were fire elementals that we took down. Ooh, oh. I'm good at putting out fires. Well, there's no fires anymore because we got rid of the fire elementals. That's why Alashna passed out because she there there was like a portal or something to the so while this happens, yeah. <laughs> you guys fly to the Feywild. Meanwhile, in uh, in Dolus's ring, Dolus, what's popping? Awesome. Uh, Don't mind so me just watching. Uh, I get into the ring. I whoop into there, as you would say, Cryo, uh, mm -hmm. and I just immediately take a deep inhale. Oh. Exhale. And it, it, there's like a... If there was anyone there, they would see you like... You know, Dolus doesn't always look like the happiest person alive. Uh, just by default. But... You don't uh, say. <laughs> there is just a moment where like... Even like the slightly more collected visage just drops like his eyes droop slightly <laughs> his face gets a little wrinkled <laughs> just oh, damn it just walk over to my nearest bottle of my case of wayberry's wine just pop off the cork just take a good sip just oh Damn it. <laughs> I don't understand. I'll wave my hand over in a direction and just casually summon uh the 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 fake Kylie in my head. Uh and that almost mannequin-esque version of Kaeli appears again, just standing there. I fake Kaeli. Hello, Dolus. I don't know what to do. Oh? What do you mean? There's so much happening all at once, and I... I'm trying so hard to keep it together. And I'm not doing a good job. I mean, clearly you're doing a fantastic job. After all, you're in here talking to me. Was that sarcasm? You know that's exactly what she would say. I do know. <laughs> <laughs> I just... I just need to air out some of my thoughts and just talking to myself feels wrong. <sighs> I... Or at least I thought I, I... That... If I just... Swallow it all down. Just keep it all under the surface. Try my best to not let anything show that would bring people comfort in knowing that at least, you know, maybe if Dolus has his wits about him, he's usually so nervous about everything, maybe, maybe it'll be all right, you know? He seems like he's got the situation under control, but... 
It's... But it's not working, which no. is why you're full of tension and you're in here doing this. Yes, yes, I, yes. I don't know. I. Annie said something earlier. She asked me where my happiness was. And I feel like I have been focusing so hard on everyone else's happiness. On Lotus, on Alina, the world. I don't know. I don't... I mean, I'm... happy. I have instances where I am happy. I feel happy when I'm around Helena. I feel happy when I do things with Lotus. But... Do you think there's a difference between... Feeling joy and experiencing true happiness. Do you? It's a better question. If there is... You clearly must, otherwise you wouldn't be answering, asking this question. If there is, then I don't know if I've ever felt true happiness. Is that sad? You seem to think it is. I do. Well, in that case, what are you doing so wrong? <sighs> you have such a perfect role model of happiness to base yourself on. <laughs> After all, she I, I mean, she does whatever she wants. And she seems quite happy. She does. I just... I don't... Maybe, maybe... I've been living under this false... idea that... if I'm able to bring everyone else happiness, then my happiness will just come in tow. Or maybe it's not a false belief, and maybe I'm just not doing a good enough job and making the people around me happy. I mean, clearly I have been neglecting Lotus and her feelings. I... Well, when you tried everything for your sister, you felt this way, and now when you're trying less for your sister, you feel this way, so maybe the things you're trying just aren't the things you should be doing. I... Is it... I don't think it's... unnatural to... want to put others' feelings before your own, is it? No, but you think it's unhealthy. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I... I feel so much building inside of me. There is a storm of emotion that I can't let get to me. Because if I do, it will make everyone else feel worse. And it'll just make the situation terrible. Yes. So we have to find ways to lock it up. Correct. It's 
right? Shh, Perfect. Shh. What can I do for you? <sighs> well, all you can do is listen, but I don't know. I think maybe that's just that's enough. Sometimes you just need someone there to listen. And who better than myself in the body of someone else? Maybe. I don't know. It's. I believe I read somewhere there's like a philosophical debate of what's. Would you rather feel constant pain or feel nothing at all? And I thought maybe always feeling pain is better because at least you're feeling something. But now you've met someone who doesn't feel anything and you are conflicted. Right. I mean... No joke intended, but she doesn't seem that offended by it. She doesn't seem that upset. Not that she could, but just... She is just curious and lives on her own accord. You're almost wondering what it would be like to not feel anything. Right. <sighs> but not feeling anything is... I couldn't feel anything. No, I wouldn't like, I wouldn't want that. Although I... I envy her in some respects. She also can't feel love. She can't feel... The feeling that one has... When they're truly loved by someone else, or would they love someone with all their heart? Oh, and do you love Alina? Right, yes, but I also meant, like, I love my sister. And, and Raiden. And Raiden. And your friends. Yeah. I don't... <laughs> I don't know. What Lotus said was true. I mean, we're not going to Dragon Lost. We're not going to see Raiden yet. I should... I mean, I do feel upset about it, but... What can I do? It's either... Go and see Raiden and maybe get killed by the other version of Lotus or continue on the path that we're on right now and if we don't do the path we're on right now then everyone is going to suffer the world will end Raiden might just die and not be around at all this is clearly the better option but it doesn't feel like it Well, sometimes going off of a gut feeling is better. Wasn't it Twink who taught you that? Yeah. And what's that good for nothing little hold master doing in Serace in any way? They were working for Martin in the first place. I mean, they're in prison, right? Yeah, and they got themselves locked up there. I don't know why it's our problem. I, I suppose. I would, we need them for... The... the uh, for someone else to step up in Martin's place or whatnot.
It's look. always about what everybody else needs. Right. I... I mean, I prefer their needs over mine. And that's how we got in this predicament. Yeah. I'm going to look the big Kylie in the eyes. Can I make an insight check? Yeah. Because she has been asking some questions that I know that I know the answer to. Yeah. Just check in. Uh, 18. You see all of your intrusive thoughts looking back at you. I see. I want what's best for the people that I care about. And unfortunately, it just means nothing you want. I don't even know if there is anything I want. When do you get to feel something when do you get to feel like you're the one in charge she's like walking around you as she's saying it when do you get to make decisions about your life and as she walks around her voice kind of changes you turn to look at her and you are looking at you <laughs> just when do we get to do what we want what do we want we I want to save the world, I suppose, in a grand sense. I want the people I love to be safe. I, I don't know what I want besides that. So why isn't that enough? Because I'm not good at it. I'm not good at it. And I don't know what to do to get better. Everything I do is a wrong step in some direction. To someone in someone else's perspective, I can't do wrong by everyone. If all we do is hurt people, then what are the happy moments? I don't know. Outliers. Or the moments that matter. Right. They're what matters. <sighs> I... thought for a long time that my goal was to stop whatever was happening to the world and erase these false clone versions of us. And then one day I learned that I am the false clone version of me. And that I'm born from Archibald's mind. I 
have my powers from somewhere. I did Archibald know about Kylie? He should have. If he knew that I had a separate source of my power, then why, as his creation, do I source it myself? Now, I'm not really the person you should ask, I suppose. Who is there to ask? Well, Archibald. I guess that's something I could ask him. Maybe he knows something about this. <laughs> of course, there's always the person you really want to talk to. Kylie seemed to know about this, or seemed to know that it was a thing that could happen. And here we are, none the wiser. That's where I really want to go. That's what I want. I want to go into the elemental plane of air, and I want to talk to Kylie. But... It's not in the cards. I suppose. Why don't we put it in the cards? Because there's no reason to. But there is. A genie, answers, another star lost. You know it as well as I do. Another star lost. Lotus. Maybe... Maybe... I mean... The easiest way to get to the elemental plane of air... Is probably from Dragon Lost. And then, from there, we go to the elemental plane of air, hunt down, or to Dragon Lost, where she might also be, hunt down the other Star Lost, Lotus, get a genie on our side, one who can, we can contact and get help from. Seems like a powerful possibility. True. Ensuring the safety of the kingdom of Dragon Lost. <laughs> I feel like that's far more worth it than some holdmaster. Well, I mean, maybe to me, but not in the grand scheme. I mean, we've done some really insane shit. How hard could it be to 
break one cat out of prison. Hmm. Probably easy. Could probably do it in a day. Less than a day, if we really try. Lotus and I, I can do it ourselves. I really don't know anything about Saracen. I should ask someone. True. I should find out like anything. Yeah. You know who probably knows about Twink. Saracen. Well, yes. Just point upwards. Someone who's wearing the wing right now. Oh yeah, Alina. Alina probably knows. Yeah. Maybe the twins. They worked in the Maybe. Empire. Maybe the other twins. They lived in the Empire. What are the names? Fer Fergal. Ferdinand and Fergal. Yeah. Yes. Right. Right. Okay. I'll ask Alina. Should I say bye to you? Ah, close enough. Should I say bye to you? Are you, uh, you don't care. You don't care. He's gone. <laughs> He's just gone. <laughs> you're like, you've been talking in circles with this thing now for like 20 minutes. You're like, should I say bye to you? Wait, no, no, forget to, what the fuck? And then you're like, am I crazy? I just... <laughs> am I crazy? I'll just walk over, take one last swig of that wine, pop the cork back on, lay it back down on the table, and just... Okay. And then I'll thump out. You thump out, and Alina's carrying stuff along the dock, like walking towards Twink Town, and you thump out, and she's just... I'll try and catch things. Help. You both, like, land in this awkward position, holding stuff, she's just like... Hi. Hello. What is he startled this? me. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's you okay. Will... Let's lay this down on the ground so that we can uh, then yeah. easily press it. Okay. I'll help her carry some stuff. What is all this? It's just a bunch of her stuff, a bunch of writing and like books and so, but like all the stuff she bought while she was in Ebola, basically, and all of her packs okay. and stuff. So, Alina, what mm -hmm. do you know about Saracen? Oh, Saracen? Saracen's great. Saracen. It's a city in the desert. It's the only city in the desert, really. Otherwise, you just have a bunch of sad little, like, mining towns and stuff. Uh, okay. And so, because it's so clear there, because they never get any rain or, like, weather or any kind, that is where they have the, the telescope. So it's where most of the artificers are. If they're not in Altairi, they're in Saracen, and they look up at the sky, and they, they chart things down, and they test a bunch of magical stuff. It's basically, it's a bunch of pillars coming up out of the desert that they built on and around, and so it's, like, the only... If you're there, apparently you can just see out for miles in every direction. All you see is sand, and it's really boring. So that everybody stays there in the city. But apparently it's also got, like, a really nice nightlife and stuff. I had some friends... I guess not really friends. I guess they were just sort of like fellow students. But I mean, friends is easier to say in conversation than fellow students because it doesn't require an explanation. It makes me sound way less sad. Um, but I had people who I had classes with who had been to Saracen. and they said it was really nice. So um, the worst part is the fact that it's in the desert. But also it's like there's an oasis at the very bottom where like all the pillars come out of the ground. So there's water there so people don't die. Because you die in the desert if you don't have water. I don't know if you knew. No, um, yeah, no, I got that. Okay. Do you, um, so what about uh, that prison? Oh, the prison. Saracen is known as having pretty much the most fucked up prison in the entire empire. It's like one big tube all the way down uh, inside one of the pillars. And they lock you up in there and you don't have windows. And the way they feed you is they lower this big sort of like slab down with food on it. You have to just reach to the bars and grab whatever you can. So if you're way at the bottom, you don't get like anything. Um, so, um... How hard would it be to break someone out of that prison? Oh, I mean, since we're planning on doing that, uh, I mean, realistically, we're just going to have to find out kind of like what level she's on. And then we could probably just sort of like bust through the wall because we have the capabilities of doing that. But also, there's going to be like a lot of guards. Also, we have to find out where she is. But also, we have like a dragon and our ship has like a railgun. So maybe we could just like blow apart part of Saracen. We could just blow up Saracen. We shouldn't do that. But we could send in... Uh, 
This is not dullest blanking. This is me blanking. Fucking the owl. Our our Aldrich. Our Aldrich. There it is. I was in my mind was just saying Archibald. I'm like, no, the other A name. <laughs> we could send in Aldrich because he can be like different things. Maybe he can be like a really small thing. Oh, maybe he can or be like a mouse. Like, mouse. Oh, yeah, I'm maybe. Gonna, someone's gonna try and eat him. Um. And, but, and that well, he can. Can he teleport? I don't know. But I mean, he could try. He could run down there and he could check everything out. Yeah. And... Or he could be like a flying thing that's not a big owl. Like it's like in yeah, the like middle, and then like Maybe descend. He could be a bat. They have bats in Ceres, and they have a lot of bats in the desert. Yeah. actually. So and then he bat. descends. Doc can either talk to him or see through his eyes, see mm -hmm. what level she's on and where she is, and then that's how we figure out where she's at. Yeah, perfect. And then I just Earth Elemental bust a hole through the wall. Boom, boom, and we're out. Probably not All actually right. be that easy, but it could be that easy. I don't know. I've never broken anyone out of jail before. Do you I think guess there's anything we should? I mean, you weren't in jail. You were in like a castle. So. Oh yeah. Uh, do you think that. there's anything that we should? Yes. Do you think there's anything that we should worry about there? Like, is it as under the empire's iron fist as the rest it's of the country? It's their third biggest city after Altairi and Reesti. Hmm. Um, and also the Artificers Guild and a bunch of the Mage Guild is there. So, like, it's not like we'll just be fighting guards. But assuming there's not a Holdmaster there, we'll probably be fine. We fought guards and mages and stuff before. Also, Fagin's right. going to help us figure out something. So he'll probably have a way to figure something out and do something. Oh, yeah. I forgot we're meeting up with Fagin. It's nice that we have one Holdmaster that likes us. Well, I guess two, but we don't mm. really see the other one. Oh, yes. I forgot I was going to ask Archibald about Atronon. Do you think Atronon's okay? Probably. Fair. I mean, I don't... I mean, he's probably, like, undercover, kind of. You know, like, st still playing up how much he's anti-magic. He probably doesn't even know his brother, like, got kidnapped and tortured for several months. Oh, no, I that's that's information we're keeping from him as long as possible. Because he specifically entrusted him to me and I immediately oh. lost him. Oh. Got him back, but. Well, so now we need to get Nalu out of prison. And then we have to get Alora on our side. She's pretty. She's pretty. She's pretty. Oh. She's like book pretty, where she's got like perfect skin and nice like platinum blonde hair. And she's like tall. And she'll hit you with a mace. With a mace? She's paladin. Yeah. Oh. That she's like the whole she's like the holy symbol of symbol of the empire. If Martin was like the smart one and Atronom was like the war one, and Fagin was like the 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 scrappy underdog, she's the 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 religious one. What's Nalu? The Tabaxi. <laughs> oh, the token. <laughs> I that's a lot of okay. people in the empire weren't happy when Nalu became a hold master. Why? Because she's the only one of them that's not human to the public knowledge. Oh. Because everyone thinks Atronon's human. And Fagin yeah. is human. And we all thought Martin was human. I mean, I guess he kind of was. But, you know. And to my knowledge, Allura's human. So, you know. The only one right. who's not human was Nalu. And the Empire's kind of racist. I don't know if you caught on to that when they made a law against races and you had to leave the country. Yeah, no, I know. No, I got that. I just sort of, you know, I try not to think about the Empire that lo that much. Uh, it's it yeah, so they didn't really like exclusively Nalu. brought dis distrust, discomfort, and pain to the people I know. But yeah, so she's kind of just the she's the she was the weird the weird one out. Um, and then everybody thought the Holdmaster after her was going to be another non-human, but then it was Fagin instead, and some people got even more mad that they kept Nalu. So I'm sure no one freaked out when she went missing. Hmm. And Fagin, 
he's he's the newest hold master. Yeah. He's, I see. He's so he's just he's just a guy. He's the hero of Altairi, one of the quintet who helped stop a dwarven uprising and a brooding war and a whole Dracolich. It's a big thing. It's a bunch of propaganda stuff they, they talk about a lot. What happened to the other four? I don't know. Fagin stuck around and got involved in politics. One of them is one of the dwarves on the council now, I think. I um, think one of them died. I don't know what happened oh. to the other two. Hmm. The only one I was really interested in was their was their sorcerer. His name was Twink, which is jarring when I think about it all the time. His name was Twink. Yeah, his name was Twink. Yeah, which is why it's really was weird he a name. gnome? He was. I didn't know it was such a common name. Is there a non-zero chance that they are the same twink? Well, I mean, their their one died, and then oh. he was resurrected for their final battle against the Drake Lich, and then oh. he chose to return to the afterlife. Oh. Maybe he yeah. lied. <laughs> Maybe. Fagin gave, like, a big... Do you think that's why Twink and Fagin are so chill? Do you think I Twink know. is Twink? I I think maybe it's best to not think about this. Twink, what if Twink is like a super powerful sorcerer who helps save all of the Empire? He's not. He's just been Twink fucking with us for this whole save time. The Empire. Yeah, he, he would save the Empire. Empire. Actually, you know, yeah, no, it's definitely me. Okay. You know, it's something. It's something fun to think about, though. Yes. It is. Imagining Twink saving a country and not making one himself. Yeah, saving a country without something in return doesn't feel like Twink. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, it doesn't. Meanwhile, <laughs> in uh, in the Feywild area of the island. Three of you arrive on the hillside. There's a giant oak tree growing that is easily several times the height of any of the other trees around. Annie, hush, you are astounded. This nice, just rolling grass field is interrupted by this absolute monolith of a tree. And then on the other side of it, all in, amongst the like low lying woodlands are all these buildings. You can just see people meandering amongst them. Going about their day. Hmm. Okay. Lotus, are you going to go to Invisible? Um, no, it should be okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Just don't show them your trinkets. Okay. Don't pull it out your candy. They go wild for it. How wild? They swarm you. What if I throw it? You probably still shouldn't... If you have one, they'll probably assume you have a lot. I do have a lot. Okay. You have a good point. Okay. And if you need to leave, let me know. Mm -hmm. I can teleport us all out. Mm-hmm. Like, except for Annie, but Annie, Annie can fly. I can also Annie, teleport. Can you teleport. Yeah. Okay. Then, 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 then we're good. The two casters <laughs> and two Lotus sorcerers. the monk. <laughs> <laughs> the two sorcerers and the monk walk into a fey town. <laughs> yeah. You guys go. You guys go wandering up. Immediately, stuff. people as you're walking up are just like, "Hello, hello!" Like people are just like waving hi to you as you enter this little this little town. Hello, I hear you trade things. Hello. Oh, why well, yes, we do. What do you trade? 
It's the sweets girl! Like someone shouts. Oh no! And then just another one just... Yes, you! Like to Lotus. You're the girl with the sweets! Mm-hmm. Have you brought any? Mm-mm. Oh, no, 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 but like it, it like it shouts it over your head at some other people and immediately like a few people who are walking towards you are just like, oh, no, <laughs> like it, it just Damn. like spreads throughout the market immediately. <laughs> it's like, no, she doesn't Damn. get it. And like a, the mood dampens noticeably. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> kidding. They were ready, getting ready to swarm you. Mm -hmm. Like quippers in blood. Oh, oh my god. And before you worry, Lady Arlashna returned and explained the situation to us, so we understand it was not a kidnapping now. Oh, that's good. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We are learning how it is to live on this new lovely little island of Twink Tanya. We've even begun some trade with your little Twink Townia. Oh, that's good. Yes. They do seem... they come here or do you guys go out there? Oh, they, they we usually meet somewhere in the middle. They don't seem too comfortable coming in here. Yeah, it is the Feywild. Huh, understandable. Oh, and what can I do for all of you? Uh, vibrating. <laughs> did you want something? I'm going to poke. Uh, hush. Everyone wants something. No, this is not. I'm in the Feywild. Do y'all take gold? Um, I don't prefer to, but now that I'm trading with your little town, I need to have some, so... Yes. Perfect. Uh, what, what, what do you sell? Me, personally, I sell bubbles! Just holds up a bunch of little glass dingly things. You sell those? Yes. What are they worth to you? Oh, so much. Sometimes we all need prized possessions. True. What are yours? My prized possession? Yes. My hat. Oh, excellent. It is quite a lovely hat. Very large. I'm sure it would look even better adorned with some baubles. <laughs> <laughs> Not interested. Well, then you can fuck off. <laughs> no, and look over and, and just walk away. <laughs> <laughs> just in your head, just you see, see why the little bit uncomfortable <laughs> here. Can you ask them if they, if know if there's any like fey creatures around? Um. Well, there is this it's one. Cat. Says when Noah gives up. <laughs> there is a cat around. I don't know anything about the cat. Are y'all talking about loud? Or is this... No, this I is, can't. Uh, directly to her. I can't. <laughs> I love that. Well, what's is the it, name? No, I mean, like, is this a group chat, though? Is what I'm asking, I guess. No, it's one is way. This... It's always one to one. Yeah, it's always one to one, one, one unless I repeat everything to everyone. Poor it's not a, not a telepathic bond. Um, what was the name of the cat? Cryo? That's a really good question. I haven't whipped out the cat in a hot minute. Hang on. Yeah. <laughs> She's right there next to you. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was rude. No, it's fine. Calic! Calic! Calic? Fuck Calic. Okay. Calic. So there's this cat that kind of, when we first came here, uh, kind of followed and stalked us a little bit. I think their name was Calic. And then there are like these fairy sprite thingies that Plume did in like, Plume! <laughs> Rem remembering that Plume exists. <laughs> that was the sprite, right? Hmm, I'm sure he's okay. He's a pixie. I'm not sure. Pixie. He's a pixie. But there are these fairy sprite things that like turned us invisible or something when we came here and Plume didn't like them. Sounds like pixie. Or sprites. I think so. 
These are the ones that turn. I don't know too much about their abilities. I just know that the Feywilds was kind of a place where you just. He did not like. He did not like and he <laughs> talked very badly about. But I learned that if he thought it was bad, a lot of time it could be good. That's why I'm very excited to be here. <laughs> Lotus, you remember that Halleck, as well as the sprites, were all in the bamboo grove. Hmm. That's Which there is part of the bamboo, bamboo grove here on Twing Tanya. Yeah, and there was also the ants as well. Yeah, the ants. <laughs> the poor ants. Um, well, Kallik and... Cole thinks you guys went off to find his kids and just never came back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, <forgot> that <laughs> was just... I, I remember that, that plot line. Cry and I talked yep. about it Can like a month ago. we go find the kids now? <laughs> Yeah, we should go back and find the kids now. Uh, <laughs> like, hey, it took us so long. <laughs> Here you are. Calic and the sprites live in the bamboo grove, and I feel even more uncomfortable going into the bamboo grove because we were supposed to like save this ant's kids, and we never did that. Why didn't you save them? I forgot. <laughs> Shit happened. Hush's jaw just fucking drops. You, well, this, well, they're seemingly just kind of like looking at each other, like, like discussing. <laughs> I'm mm -hmm. just walking off to another shop. Yeah, you just walk up to another attendant who just, hello, pleasure to meet you. Uh, I'll explain to Hush hello. why we forgot, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I'll you message it? you. Yeah, yeah I'll message you. Know. I'll message yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> Can you <laughs> What do you sell? <laughs> Me, post. Yeah. I sell emotions. He gestures at his little platter of like all sorts of foods. Mm -hmm. You take a bite and you get a rush of whatever feeling is appropriate. Don't buy the edibles. Don't be Mara again. <laughs> Would you like joy? <laughs> drugs, 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 do, drugs, do drugs. Do you drugs. do samples? Um, no. No? <laughs> hmm. I don't think that would work on me. Oh, and why is that? I swore my emotions away. Oh, someone took through your marriage. emotions. Oh, to marriage. Oh, no, no through, through marriage. Oh, that's quite the trade. Bold. Hmm. It saved odd my life. Your, odd of your beloved to take your emotions. No, it's good for me. Oh, well, whatever you feel. But if you'd like a little... A little spike of something. I could, we could try it. You could just spare mm. a moment. Hmm. What do you think? Well, I could always take a little bite of joy and see how you feel. Hmm. Sure. Here you are. And he hands you just a little berry. I, I mean, it tastes pretty good. Good taste. No reaction. No good bubbling feeling welling up within you. No. Oh, you truly are sworn off of them for good, aren't you? Yep. Well, hopefully not forever. Ah, fair enough. Trade as is. At least you got a snack. Tra Wait, we traded. Yes, of course. I asked you to spare a moment. Oh, no. Don't worry. <laughs> no. I'll, I'll collect when it feels right. <laughs> Welcome back to the Feywild, everybody. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I'm leaving. I'll take a moment. Do, like, does that force me to, like, stop what I'm doing now? <laughs> or anything like that? You don't know. He's just saying he'll take a moment one day. <laughs> you don't know what the fuck that is. It's really weird when you've got I'm, I'm time users. To the next shop. <laughs> you just walk nervously to the next shop. We're fighting the BBEG <laughs> at the end of the campaign, and Annie just leaves for a second for, like, a round. <laughs> and just loses back. a random round because <laughs> the fucking Faye took a moment. He's <laughs> like, what the fuck? And he's like, this is my moment. <laughs> <laughs> this is Hello. Moment. Thank you. 
Yeah. So you walk to the next shop. And there's a woman there who's got her own, like, a bunch of clothes. A bunch of clothes. Hello. Hello. You look like you're in dire need of new threads. You're not like mine. Oh, well, don't get me wrong, dear. Your sense of fashion is fantastic, but this island is a bit tropical. Hmm, true. What do you got? Could you get you something a bit more for warm weather? She, like, holds up, like, a like a nice little thin blouse. Hmm? Hmm. Anything blue? She, the blouse she's holding, she just whips it and it turns blue. Like mm. the exact same blue you're wearing. Just, mm -hmm. huh? Mm hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. Perhaps if you're feeling something a little bit more in a different disposition, we could go for. She whips it and it's like a nice orange. Contrasting colors. No. No. <laughs> Back to blue. <laughs> just immediately. Is this the lady I got my cloak from? It is. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Stays clean for ages, and mm. it will always fit you. Nice. Hmm. You trade in gold. Um, like immediately, like the mirth <laughs> leaves her face. <laughs> I suppose you mortals and your gold. Yeah. <laughs> You have to go with the times of communism. And, or not communism, fucking capitalism. Fucking <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it's, it's our dress. Communism instead of capitalism. It's our dress. Yeah, you're not a fan <laughs> of communism. <laughs> <laughs> the screen turns red for a moment. <laughs> um, I guess I pose. That's why Annie wears all blues. Cause she, never mind. I'm not gonna finish that joke. I don't know if all that's right. offensive. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know There's if that's not a single bit of red in her. She's a pure blooded capital. <laughs> how? How much are you willing to offer for it? I'm trying to slump. She may be wearing blue, but all she sees is green. Boys, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Hmm. I'd say this looks 20 gold. One moment. Damien! <laughs> she just shouts to another shopkeeper who's just like, hmm, 20 gold worth it for a magic shirt? No. No. How much hmm. is worth it? She like shouts <laughs> over. And he's like, Pulse quick, kill Damien. <laughs> 75? 75. <laughs> she comes back to you. Mm, what if we meet in the middle? 50? Turns again and Damien <laughs> shakes his head. <laughs> she, she, she comes back, she's like, I'm afraid not. If you're willing to trade something with me, I might be able to give you a discount. Mm. Well, I have these other clothes you just pull out more clothes oh, but see i these i made, made them from, well elves made these so elves are good at making things her ears suddenly become pointy like an elf and she's like i don't see the difference hmm. why would i take more clothes in exchange for clothes that's not a trade that's just the same no, but these are different. Yeah, mine are better. They hmm. change colors and size. And I worked really hard on them. <laughs> she about to cry. Are you going through something? <laughs> Why don't you humans and the elves and people ever just want to buy my things for a nice trade? You always want to trade that stupid shiny metal. Hmm. I don't keep a lot of material possessions, to be honest. I could take an I could take an emotion or a word or a I smell don't have or emotions. a sound. Do you have sweets? Hmm. 
rummage through my bag. <laughs> Any like yeah. elf sweets or anything like that? Hush, your hand is up. What what you got? What you got, buddy? Are we hearing this? <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> I go. Where I, is like, as, like, I'm be, as I'm being like told all these things about the end. Like, I think, I think, I think she's struggling over there. Yeah. I want to go try something. Okay. As you guys go walking in, there's a <laughs> as Aldrich comes and lands on top of Lotus's head. Just <laughs> hello. Hi. Have you traded away anything? He like turns his head full owl all the way around each direction. Not me. Not you. I'm about to go make a you. Trade. Excellent. Huh? Uh, I know. What I I'm don't doing. know. Mm. He sees you talking to a fae, he flies over and just lands on your hat, Annie. Just... Mm. Hello! And then all of... <laughs> oh. Ah! <laughs> he fl floof the hat and he gets off and he comes and lands on the table between you and the fae woman. He's just like, I said that was quite rude. What? I come here to talk to you, to help you, to act as a, an advisor, and you flip me off of your hat. You landed on my hat? Yes! It's a perfectly... I was concerned for what was up there. It is a viable place to land. It's a quite a good little landing, though. No, it's a hat. Hello, I am Sir Aldrich Percival Monsanton. It's nice to meet you. I am the familiar of Dockery. Who? Doc. Oh! Yes, his full name is Dockery. He doesn't use it frequently, though. I don't know why. It's a lovely name. Hmm. I'll ask him about it. Oh my god, guys. I'm <laughs> so sorry to interrupt. Fucking Annie is rude to Aldrich because Pulse hates summons in Elden Ring. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh my god. You're wearing the, your fucking Ronnie hat. Oh. Rude to the familiar. <laughs> no, you be nice to him. That's my boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy! It all comes together. He's just being forward. No, I know. I'm just being so funny. <laughs> yeah. Did you trade anything, Annie? Um. Well, someone wanted to trade something, and they were like, a moment of your time. And then I was oh, like, no. I took a thing. But it didn't do anything, so it had no value, so it probably shouldn't have any. Like It had nutritional money. value, the guy at the table, like right next to this one, <laughs> speaks up. It's still this, food. This is a moment, man. I'll take a moment. I don't know which one, I'll pick one day. And he just oh. goes back to what he was doing. <laughs> Aldrich's like, ah. Madam. You, would you like something from this vendor? He like gestures at the woman who's like, I just want to sell clothes. <laughs> I seem to have upset her. I just want to sell clothes. Do you have oh. something worth emotional value or or that's delicious? <laughs> well, these clothes are from my home. I heard you tell him you can't feel anything. That means jack shit to you. But nothing feels anything to me. 75 gold, please. What? Annie. Hmm. I'm going to connect to both their heads. Oh, hey, I speak telepathically. I apologize. That's fine. Weird. What about the floating what? candy that you have? What? The candy floats from behind her head. Ah! There's only lights up immediately. Mm. Just kind of, like, slowly, like, process this. This? 50 gold. Okay. She takes the butterscotch, like, like, snatches it, and immediately just, like, the dude next to her is just like, I'll give you way more of this for one of those. <laughs> he just like palms a bunch of the emotion of foods. It doesn't do anything. Ah, you throw it down. <laughs> 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 
Aldrich <laughs> like helps the exchange of, of snacks and money and grabs the clo- like the shirt and gives it to you and he's like, alright, best if we the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we you don't want to do more shopping. No! No, we do not! <laughs> okay, give me a second and just kind of put it on themselves and <laughs> absorb it. You, like, hold the new blouse up against you, and you're just like, hmm, and then it's just like, whoom, into your clothes. Everybody is just like, Shh. Did you just, like, no, you just change think? into it? <laughs> you snap your fingers, and your your dress just transforms into this new outfit. Oh, much better. Let's get out of here. A shift weave. I don't know what mm-hmm. that is. It's Did a clothes you? that can change into other clothes. Oh, your clothes ate your clothes. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Uh, More like they fuse together and become one thing that could be many things. Don't worry, yeah. Master Centauri, and I shall explain. What were the berries? They didn't do anything. Hmm. They give you emotions. They don't, you, 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 you stop telling people they didn't, they don't do anything. They give you feelings. But didn't do anything. Because you're strange. Let's go. (laughs) (laughs) Hmm. I don't think they give you feelings. I feel like they just amplify them. And she doesn't have any, so. Who are you saying that to? You're not connected to this guy. (laughs) Oh, that was just those two. Okay. <laughs> we had the shopkeep and Annie. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Annie and Lotus, right? <laughs> yeah, Annie and Lotus. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, she doesn't have any, so that makes sense. Why well, that just didn't work. Mm. Aldrich explains to you what a shift weave is. Hush, as you guys leave the market. Back in Twingtownia. Hey. And meanwhile, Doc... You and Archibald arrive to a little bit of fanfare. Everybody is excited to see crew members returning. Uh, Most of them don't know who Archibald is, so you have introductions to do as as you go through and see a bunch of artificers and various people. Okay. Uh, You do notice your house. The house. It looks way less ramshackle than it did the last time you were here. It's like properly put together. There's paint on parts of it now. It's larger. The windows are not placeholder anymore. (laughs) And almost all of the damage from the fucking kaiju battle is repaired. It seems like they decided to change one large building into a smaller building instead of rebuilding it entirely. That's fair. Huh. They fixed the house. Did it not look like this before? Well, it kind of did, but it looked... It wasn't quite as done as it is now, and then... (laughs) Then we had two dragons fight it out, and they broke, like, half of it. Oh, shit. Yeah. (laughs) He, like, looks at it, like... And then behind you, you just hear... Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Like Huan just comes out, just hey! Huan, you're here, you're alive. Yeah, <laughs> I was worried about you guys after I heard about Mara. Yeah, yeah, that sucks. Yeah, but you're here, you're alive, yay! <laughs> and we saved Archibald. Hi, you're Archibald. Hi, I'm Huan. It's nice to meet you. Comes up and she like shakes his hand. He's like, ah, oh, um, uh, hi, hi, she's yeah, a, hi. She's a um, lot of energy, but I promise she means well. She is actually one of the biggest beams of light on this entire island. You mean it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you. Where's Twink? I'm trying to avoid him. I didn't get some of the tasks done. He wanted me to get done. It's okay. He seemed determined to do very certain things. Uh, some might even say that he's not all here today. Okay, fantastic. Good, 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 good. I'm going to avoid him desperately. It's great to see you, though. I'm glad that you guys are alive. I've been working on some neat stuff. 
Not stuff I was supposed to be working on, though. Hence why I'm avoiding Twink. But neat stuff. So What's the neat stuff? I, well, I have got all sorts of funky stuff set up here uh, for Twink Tanya. I've got more pipe systems set up. I got your house all piped up, so that's all good to go. So you can Ooh. use everything in there. There's a little training dummy in there in the little training gym room. If you want to go beat the snot out of that. It's okay. I got it all enchanted to mend itself. So you can just go in there and just whack the crap out of that. Uh, cool. There's also beds. The beds make themselves. Huh. I thought that was nice. No, that's really neat, actually. That's really They also fluff themselves. You have to wash them, though. I'm not your mom. Okay. Okay. That's, that's fair. The boar, I've been setting up a whole system for them. Vala, she scares them into this trap. And then it, it, it puts them into this little walkway. They walk through it and then they just boom, just get, just get, just add, turn to meat. It's great. It's really efficient. Oh, by the way, Archibald, the, the boar self replicate here. It's very terrifying, but not in like a reproduction way, like in a they literally spawn off of each other kind of way. What? <laughs> yeah, we don't really know what happened either. Any movement on figuring out what the hell that's about? Oh, I mean, I don't really care why it's happening. I just care that we have infinite boar. Okay, but there's no nobody's figured out why. I mean, no one's really asking. <laughs> that's a good, you know, that's fair enough. Now that we've kind of got that down pat, I mean, it's kind of just unlimited food. So yeah, I, mean, I figured out the ratio for how frequently they like sprout off of each other, and now we just eat boar a bunch. There might be a little bit too much pork in everybody's eye. That's a different issue, though. Ah. Potatoes will be grown soon, though, so at least we'll have, like, diverse stew that's not just fish and pork. That's fair. Also, working on the spa. I worked on the spa when I probably should have been working on stuff for the ship, but that's fine. There's still going to be a spa, which is like, oh, oh, my God. Any little fancy gadgets and gizmos that maybe aren't installed into a building? Um, Probably nothing that you'd want for, like, a fight or stuff. That's fair. I've been working on local things. Hmm. Well, I mean, Dormo, he's been no, all of his gadgets are not gadgets. They're just big machines. Like what? He found a way to put a bunch of hose for the 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 the, the field all together on top of a big thing. And he just rolls it. And he just like tills the entire field in one go. Damn. Mm hmm. It's really impressive. Twink does not give him enough credit. I don't think anyone gives him enough credit. That's why he's my best buddy. Oh, at least he's got you. Oh, shit. Where is he? Uh -oh. Hang on. I, I'll be back. She runs oh, Okay, on. bye. <laughs> Archibald just kind of like... She's... A lot. She's a lot. Yeah, I mean, if you ask, like, kind of prompting questions, you can keep her in, like, one spot for a little bit. But if you don't, she'll just... All over. like talking to that alina girl about anything to do with magic yeah with everything mm -hmm. okay yeah was i like that you don't know you weren't i there. don't know okay. I, I i i've only met you post-trauma he like looks at you as you say it that way and he's like what do you yeah okay i heard you oh. were a great kid i hear I, and i still think you're a great kid I mean, you're like way older than me, but like, you know, it's weird with elves. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. I got like 50 years on you, but as far as elves are concerned, I, I don't. As far as I'm concerned, I think you're cool. Thanks. No offense. I don't really like care. Not in like a not in like a fuck you way, but just in like, a, I don't know. I don't really feel anything about that. That's that's fair. That's yeah. Yeah, that's a theme with this party. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> they, they, they I'm I'm used to it at this point. Oh, now I feel bad. No, 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 it's fine. At least you're still here. Yeah. Anyway, a house you want to get me we can find you. Yeah, let's look at the house. Yep. Let's stop talking about this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dolus, you and Alina enter town just as you see Archibald and Doc going into your your house. Oh my god, it looks so much better now. 
the 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 paths you're walking on are nicer they're a lot smoother they've been padded down more they look more and more cobblestone by the moment the well is all properly running again hmm <laughs> You even see a couple little bamboo pipes coming off of it and heading off in di different directions. I ain't drinking that shit. <laughs> There's some kind of magical pump running it. Okay. Uh, where were you headed? Oh, yeah. I gave up my bed when I left left. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> she like looks like I guess you gave up your bed. Yeah, because I mean, like I went with you guys to the Westwood and then we came back for a little bit and I stayed on the ship, so I didn't. Yeah, I haven't I haven't like reclaimed a hut here. Did you think that you were going to a hut? I mean, yeah, I had a hut here before. Like we met in my hut there. She points at the, the hut that's like a building now. We met there. OK, well, you're going to live in the house now. I get to live in the house. Wow, that sounded I, sad. I really don't know how you didn't put this together. Before. I don't know. I, you're, I It's one thing for us to sleep together, but living together is different. It's not like a... Okay. I bet it is. <laughs> I guess. Fine. What did they make your heart into or the where it was? Just that little barracks there. It's just, it, I mean, it's not a hut now. It's just where people live. It's a oh. housing thing. A sleeping quarters. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, to the house. Where to you the live. house. <laughs> where we live. Yeah, we live. We have a house. Yeah. Well, a place where no, we can sleep. That's ours. Yeah. That's, oh my gosh. It's kind of nice that it's ours, but also we've been sleeping in a castle for like a week. Uh, yeah. She like looks around Twink Tania and like in comparison to Fort Don, it's like ramshackle buildings, like half built huts. The cobblestone street that's definitely just rocks that have been packed into the ground and just Listen, I went from uh, bed to living in trees for years, and then even in the short amount of time, I went from castle to the Underdark, so I'm not complaining. I'm, I went from a manor my entire life to the dorms of the best magic academy in the world to a ramshackle ship to the back room of the Artificer's Guild in Shade Step, to that hut, to the ship, to camping to a castle, to Estelgron, to here. Right, right. And now we're going to house. House! <laughs> she just <laughs> walk, like walks happily. Uh, Alina? Yeah. I just wanted to say, I know this might feel like it's coming out of nowhere, but thank you. You, you make me happy. Oh, that's silly. I like that. All right. Yeah. <laughs> just nod and step into the house then right after you step it. Will you step in first? Is she sitting there kind of like? <laughs> walks in after you. Uh, I'll I'll do a quick meanwhile again to about a minute ago. Uh, Doc and uh, Archibald, you walk in, mm. and there is uh, at that little kitchen across from the 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 space from the big meeting table. There is an elf man who's just sitting there working. Who stops and just you are hey. not over. No. I'm Doc. Why are you in here? Doc. May I have the finest? Twink Tanya. Oh, he like holds the knife up, pointing at you. You, 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 you. Oh, mm -hmm. he goes back to chopping. 
Who are, who are you? <laughs> Cook. That's your name? No, stupid. <laughs> Goes back to cutting. <laughs> Doc's just like, I just can't. I can't win today. I can, I can never win with any of in this group. What's your name? Natine. <laughs> nice to meet you, Natine. I mean, as you know, I'm Doc, and this is Archibald. Hello. <laughs> Archibald will probably be staying here. I mean, a lot longer than we will, will. But the finest will be staying here tonight, and then we'll be heading out. Hi, Natine. Hello. Goes back to cutting. Task oriented. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, I, you know, I'm sure it's harmless. Come on, I, I remember where most everybody's room is, so I can try and see him uh, and find you a free one. Okay, yeah, cool. He follows after you. You don't you don't notice as you're going up the stairs, but he looks back in a teen who's just like, <laughs> like waves with the knife, and Archibald rushes up the stairs after you. <laughs> <laughs> are are me and Alina just gonna keep slightly missing? Doc yeah, I was gonna say you yeah. open the door and you walk into the house, and it's just this elf man chopping up vegetables who just turns. <laughs> <laughs> you are not Doc. <laughs> you are not over there. No, I'm not. Who are you? Dolus. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and you are? Cook. Cook? Is that your name? No, stupid. <laughs> <Come back. laughs> what is your name? Natin. Latine, why are you in my house? Cook. Cook. Oh, well, did we hire you to cook here? Yes. Okay. She's busy. He cannot cook food. All right. Latine, what are you making? Stew. Pour stew. stew. Oh, wow. Feeling adventurous today, are we? Yeah. Okay. Grand variety. Wow. Okay, Natine. Um, nice to meet you. Uh, Lena steps in. This is Alina. She's also not aware. Hello. Our stupid friends upstairs. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> stupid friends? Oh, okay. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Are you gonna go upstairs? <laughs> yeah, okay, let's go upstairs. It's Doc, fine. you're going you... through the rooms with Archibald when Dolas mm. and Alina come up the stairs. You guys are like in the hall. Hello, stupid what? friends. What? That's yep. what the team called you. Um, yeah. That's what you guys call me. Did he wave at you with the knife? Yeah. Oh, okay, it's not just me. He called me stupid. Yeah. And yeah, we got that. We yeah. got that too. Mm hmm. It's like if I ask you who you are and you give me a one word answer, I'm gonna assume that's what you mean is your name, right? I mean, I guess, but I guess, but maybe I, we're wrong. You know, <laughs> I we we actually had a very similar conversation. Hmm. Well, um, welcome to the house, Archibald. It's uh, nice. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a lot nicer than it was last time we were here. Yeah, that's what Doc was saying. Yeah. Yeah. Have you guys really gotten to like relax in here? Doc was saying he was tied up under oh, stairs last night. Yeah, no, so oh, oh, well, that was we had, like shit. a night. Yeah, you didn't get to sleep in here because you were tied up in the shit. That's true. We had like a night in the house when it was more like a um a shack than a house, and we sort of. Yeah, I mean, it was a nice night. We relaxed. We woke up the next morning and one of our friends had been replaced. And then two giant dragons proceeded to fight and destroy the house under them. Yeah, that sounds like time with us. Yeah. Huon says the beds make themselves. Oh, you met Huon. Yeah, Yeah, she's nice. She's oh, the, a lot. Wait, oh, the beds make themselves. That's actually really interesting. And fluff uh, yeah, themselves. Ch hang on, do let's they, check it out. Do Archibald they clean goes themselves? over to a bed, and he just pulls the blankets down and lifts his, hand, lifts his hands off of them, and he waits, and he's like... Do you think I don't they're time-oriented? Like 
You're like Bad a make. <laughs> I'm gonna make assume. yourself. Make. Clean. I'm gonna assume it's like a timing thing. Like maybe. So why do we like... just sit here and wait? Like as he's saying, like what do we just sit here and wait? The bed just. <laughs> oh. Nice. Okay. I guess it accounts for like, maybe you just need to go to the bathroom, mm. and you get back and your bed's all not in the way that you left it. Maybe. Yeah. It's nice though. Yeah. Also, the plumbing works too. Apparently. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. And yeah. the training your... dummy fixes itself. Yeah. There's a training dummy. Yeah. yeah down in the, there's like a little a gym thing attached. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. She didn't mention uh, the team. No. Um. No, okay. she was mostly just ranting about stuff she built. Yeah. Are we sure he's supposed to be here? I don't know. He scares me. <laughs> We're here okay. like one day out of like every couple weeks I figure there's no real harm yeah that's fine so this is your room Archibald I'm assuming sure he just goes in <laughs> sits down on the bed just yeah this will do he's on the Power side the of the bed. house that's got a good view of the sky so the ocean the I don't have to look at a volcano bed view of the sky <laughs> oh I see mm. nice I get to look at Twink Townia out in front of me. Yep. While I wait Don't, for you guys to come by back the from way, Harrowing Adventures. Probably to try not to say the name Twink Townia around Twink. He hates that name. Just call it, it the town funny. if he's there. Yeah. What do we name it? We just call it the town. It's Twink Townia. That's, that's a stupid it's name. It is Twink Townia. Yeah. It is the town Townia. name. Yeah, Twink just it's doesn't Twink like Townia. it. It's Twink Townia. Yeah. We all still call it Twink Town, yeah. I think it's hilarious. Uh, and the residents to deal with it. it. I don't oh, know. He's got to deal with it because I'm not going to stop it. He scares me. Uh, I'm just giving you a warning because I figured you don't want people yelling at you. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> Do you need anything? Water? Food not made by Natine? Yeah, actually. Can I have bread? <laughs> yeah, sure. Toss him a couple bread rolls. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> Are you hungry? I can make you food, like a full meal. I struggle really eating things that aren't like gruel that you would be you would feed a prisoner. Cause that's all I ate for like a month. I'm still like adjusting. My stomach is like tiny, I guess. I you can make. Have... Maybe I can make you like porridge or something. Mm, bread's good right now. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh god, no, just stop. Just stop. There's enough bread. There's enough bread. He just enough said bread. his stomach was small. <laughs> no, I'm just making him like an extra one or two. He's like, you're in here for snacks. Um, oh, by the way, Cryo, I don't remember yeah. if you said it. When we warped here from Estelgran, like, what's the time difference? Like, what time is it right now? There are no time zones. Well, but it's not the same time everywhere. There is. is it? it is. <laughs> Uh, it is definitely the afternoon. Okay. So cool, cool. You guys are. It's late afternoon now. It was like oh, afternoon. That's why Natine's making food for dinner. Yeah, he's prepping for dinner. He's doing yeah. cooking prep. Okay. So, yeah. All good. right. Well, I'm gonna go show Elena to her room. Okay. Doc, you wanna go hit a train dummy? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna hit it. It just seems like a thing. You kind of like lit up when she's at the training dummy <laughs> fixed itself, so I figured I figured we'd do that. I, I'm like pretty sure I asked for it, but again, a lot's happened, so it could have been me. It could have not been me. Let's go. You like? Come on, you can go hit a training dummy, and I'll you can I'll won't be alone because I don't trust being alone in the house in the team. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, I mean, we can also just hang out here and talk if that's more your speed. No, you know. I'm fine with anything, but I think you want to hit the dummy, so let's go. I really hit the want dummy. to hit that dummy and see it. Yeah, fix let's itself. let's go, Doc. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alina and Dolas get are getting Alina set up in her room. You go down to hit the training dummy. It's through that like back door into that what was that like miscellaneous space before? Yes, Dolas. I was just gonna say, I take Alina to her room. She starts putting her stuff down. I start putting my stuff down. What are you doing? This is our room. I thought it was my room. I can leave if you want. No, I mean, no, 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 no. I just thought you'd be in a room with Lotus. 
No, no, or no, I mean, you, can, you can stay. If it's your room, and it's our room, it's also my room. Right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put my stuff down now. Okay. If that's okay. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. All right. Slowly put my bag down. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I just didn't mind like that. <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's cute. Okay. <laughs> she just starts putting her stuff away. Now you can continue. The other three return to Twin Townia from the oh. the Fey Wild, unless you have some white play cells here swinging by. Nope. No. You guys, you guys return it's late afternoon. You've been gone like an hour. Traveled around, walked a little bit, laid the land, talked to some Fey, flew back. Lotus, you land in front of the, the workshop next to the house, the big, like, Nordic longhouse style workshop. Out of it, that's just, hi! Hi! Normo. <laughs> Cute. Hi, Normo. You're new. Yeah, Come this. Hush. <laughs> this is Hush. He talks in people's heads, if that's okay. Oh. Okay. This is. This is Annie. I didn't ask. Do you mind if I introduce you? Like, you. This is Annie. You. She can't feel things. Like. Hi. Is that oh. okay? <laughs> sure. Okay. This is Annie. <laughs> she can't feel things. Connect to his head. Hello. Hello. Oh. <laughs> this is <Annie. laughs> That's a echoey. moment of genuine, just like oh. <laughs> Does he have an echoey head? No. <laughs> Damn it. That was stupid. Uh, this is Dormo. Hi. He's big. Where's and Twink? He's big. Uh, Twink was... Well, I went around the island real fast, but uh, he's back with at the boat last I saw. Okay. It's good seeing you. Oh, it's good seeing you too. I'm glad you're doing well. Bye. Walking off. What is what does Dormo do? Dormo, Dormo helps Dormo. Huan. Dormo. Dormo. Dormo helps Huan. Huan is a uh, smaller, very energetic. Uh, they're they're all part of like the artificer guild sort of thing that we have here. He's an artif He's an artificer. Oh, do they build things here? Mm -hmm. He's an oh. artificer. Mm. Oh. You point, yeah. you point at, like, the long workshop. As you guys, like, turn around, it's built, like, this long, like, Nordic-style, open, sort of triangular structure. Like, you turn to ship upside down, and it's just one long room, basically. Uh, and it is... It's full of just forges and workbenches all the way back. Stones must be huge. Yeah, it looks like 20 people could work in here. <laughs> oh, my God. There's so many interesting people here. Mm -hmm. I mean, this Chanktania started as just a random island, so just over time, we've had all these artificers from Shadestep that didn't want to be in Shadestep anymore come and like start building things. I can't wait to see it evolve. Mm -hmm. Hey, let's go to the house. Mm. You guys walk in the front door, and sure enough, there's an elf man there who is now stirring a pot that is over a fire. He just looks up and just, You're not over there. No. Who? Uh, who are you? Cook. Okay, hi, Cook. No, name Natine. Oh, okay, hi, Natine. What are you making? Stew. Hmm. Can I try? Mm, not ready yet. Hmm. When will it be well, ready? Mm, ten minutes. <laughs> Eat star. Is, is that our dinner? Maybe. Is that our dinner? Yes. Oh, cool. Okay. Well, I'm a 
Uh, You hear in the back room just the sounds of metal whacking wood over and over again. What the? Oh, they must be working on the house. (laughs) No, it's stupid. It's stupid? Yes, he's hitting Uh, training them. I hate it here. (laughs) Doc. Ah. Fuck you guys! (laughs) (laughs) Uh, And Archie. Archibald. Yeah, oh, the they say Archie. map men. Hmm. Should we go join them? Sure. Go see what they're doing. Other two stupids upstairs. <laughs> Who? Who? Bigger bird. Oh. Talking girl. Dolis and Alina. Dolis isn't stupid. Alina isn't stupid. stupid. Archibald isn't stupid. Doc isn't yeah. stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Dean just keeps stirring. Alina where, where, is definitely not stupid. Where do you draw upon calling someone stupid? They ask stupid questions. Oh hmm. no. What did they ask? Gonna call you stupid but then what now? constitutes as a stupid question? Question I think stupid. Hmm. So, if you define it as stupid, does everyone else also define it as stupid? I don't give I- a shit. He's gonna call Why you not? stupid now. Don't call me stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna go see what uh, Doc and Archibald are doing. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, 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 I'm gonna keep go asking the cook questions. <laughs> and bug the shit out of them. asking questions? <laughs> yeah, just while they go, are off. <laughs> Alright. You head into the... You head out into the back where they're currently... They're uh, like you go in the back and Doc is in like his just his like bare training gear, just whacking away this training dummy. Yeah. It's like this nice. It's have you ever been in like those outdoor tents for events for like mm-hmm. a wedding or a, like a family or you get together or something where it's like it's sort of structured. There are semi walls of like cloth and there is like a roof of cloth. And then there is dirt. So it's like a an open air kind of structure where you could just pull the cloth away and be exposed to the elements, but otherwise it's contained. Archibald's just sitting there doodling. Yep. Hi, stu- hey. Doc. Stu- Doc. Doc. Doc like slashes down and gets d- distracted for a second. He looks over and he's like, oh, hey. And like, it's clear he's been using magic against the, <laughs> against this dummy just to see it like it's absolute limits. And he looks down right on a slash. He's like, oh, hey, guys. And it, uh, the energy that was kind of like concentrated on his blade pulls right up to the tip. And then, yeah, just fires three Eldritch Blasts straight into the thing. <laughs> so, hey, guys. Boom. Then they just whack this thing. That's new. Oh, I so, if you don't, so you don't just slash. You can blast, too. That's cool. I do, well, I couldn't, but I guess I can now. Ooh, that's brrr, I put three into the dummy as well. Oh god, does everyone know Eldritch Blast? I pull out Kyle, walk up, stick <laughs> it in, and shoot the turning <laughs> Oh god! Uh, she's got a shotgun thing now. It's, I mean, she's <laughs> had that for as long as I've known her, actually. And then, sure as shit, the training dummy just... What the? Yeah, what no, I've, I've tried everything. I basically blew the thing up earlier, and it, it still came back. I have, a, I I have like a, a little ball of fire. I was like, do you want me to try? No. Please tell me that's fire bolt. Mm-mm. <laughs> Stand down. Uh, never mind. Did you guys meet the cook? Yeah, he called, he called me dumb. stupid. Yep. Yeah, he called you stupid. Mm-hmm. Again, not an uncommon occurrence with you guys. He don't call you stupid. I don't think I've ever called you stupid. Called you a meathead. I might have implied it a few times. Mm. Well, was it meathead or, or blockhead? I can't remember. Now that I've seen what you guys are up to, I know that they're the self healing train dummy. I'm gonna go yep. see what Doris and Elena are up to. All right. I wanna, I wanna see if I can break this thing. <laughs> you guys just started wailing on it while Lotus runs through to go up to talk to 
Alina and Dola's. That point, Hush starts biting it. He's just like, break! Don't, don't bite. Hush! <laughs> it's literally <laughs> made not <laughs> to break. That is. Sure, that's a suggestion. I'm the dumb one. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yes. circle is on real time. <laughs> it's cutting off Lotus. circulation. You run through Annie's just doodling and or not doodling, just writing notes in her book and she's talking to Nateen, who seems very done with it. And you head upstairs. You head upstairs and like Is there a bathroom upstairs? There is. Okay, cool. Dola's just finished shoes in the bathroom, washes his hands, steps out, it's like stretching, like in the hallway. Oh, hi Lotus. Hi. We went uh, around Tania, and we went to talk to Market Fay. They, oh, I forgot to tell the others. Well, they, Alar, Ar, Arlashna explained all the stuffs to them, so they now know that we didn't kidnap her. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. also, so you went around the island. Mm -hmm. All right, you walk over, kind of. You can tell, like, fake seriously. Stands up at attention. All right. Lotus, what's your report? My report is that uh, one of the islands uh, has been moved by the airship, I think. Uh, it's now putting the water into the fields properly. Um, and the people in the Feywell don't think that we kidnapped our Lashna, and also apparently they started trading with the people in Twintania. Um, so they kind of like meet halfway, they start uh, trading gold as well. They also really like candy. They called me the sweets girl, which is a little bit concerning, but it should be okay. Um, concerning how? Like, like they were, they were like, wow, sweets girl! And then when I said I didn't have sweets, which was a lie, uh, they were like, oh, no sweets, and they got real sad, so... Why is that concerning? I feel like they have a problem. Lotus. Mm hmm They're you. What do you mean? They are acting exactly how you would act in that situation. I don't have a problem. Lotus. Yes? You have a little bit of a problem. I like keeping candy on. No, uh, Lotus, if I, if I told you, or if you had this preconceived notion that I was going to show up with sweets, mm -hmm. right? And then I showed up and you were really excited and you were like, oh my God, oh my God, Dolus, do you have sweets? And I said, no, how would you feel? I'd feel sad. Okay. Do you I understand mean, what but, I'm saying right like, now? I only gave like one person sweets. It's not true. And then suddenly I'm okay. I it was just the one. You time handed though. them out. You were you had a, a pocket full of saltwater taffy that you were handing out to people. Yeah, but then they swarmed me and then made me uncomfortable. Okay. And so why did you go back? Because Hush really wanted to. Annie really wanted to, too. Uh, okay. They also wanted to go and talk to Vala, but I was like, I don't really know her super well, and, like, you guys are new, and, like, from what Hush has said, that, like, green dragons are temperamental, so I thought it wasn't a good idea, uh, so we didn't fine. go. Uh, you know, it's a very good idea that you didn't go, though. Uh, it's... I know it's it's something just just in this moment before the conversation can continue as hush is gnawing on a training dummy you all hear Nateen just dinner hmm. the cook is cooked i wonder if he cooks dinner, and then there's a ding 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 of a truck yeah, we heard you and come for dinner okay <laughs> dog i think we should go for dinner good because i'm starving well, suppose we don't have much of a choice. Well, 
my hands on my hips. Good job, Lotus, on your report. <laughs> Thank you did you. a very good job. Keep it up. I'm like, <laughs> you're like little head pets. <laughs> you guys, head down. The rest of you head in from the little trading area. Mm. Annie, you already have your stew. And the team starts handing each of you a, a stew bowl. <laughs> it's in the stew. Uh, it looks to be some kind of pork, as well as carrots and celery. I, like, hand back the bowl. Well, can this? I have a bread roll, please? I'll take the bowl, and I'll pour it back into the stew. Oh, I'll shit. Clean it, and then I'll you create... Huh? I say you need veggie stew? Stew with no <clears throat> carrot? With no celery? Yeah, he's vegetarian. With no carrots and, st- and celery? Did you say I stew not, with I no carrots? In, I do not know what's in wrong with the stew. He's vegetarian. Meat. Oh. You want veggies? Just hand, like, some of the cut vegetables. Gives you some. And he just gives him some cut vegetables. Yeah. <laughs> some cut okay, vegetables. Well, I'm going to continue what I was doing. I'm going okay, to him- clean off the bowl and I'm going to ma- magically make him a bowl of a nice vegetable stew. Thank you. I take like, the cut off vegetables that he gave me and I put them in there too. <laughs> oh, and I gave him a roll job. of bread. My job's safe. <laughs> Goes back to handing the bowls of stew out. Thank you, Dolas. Mm-hmm. You want to sit down to eat? How is the stew? Nice. It's good. As you guys. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sick. Everybody sits down, starts digging in for dinner. Sit there, and the team's just watching you all. I mean, everybody the team. Make wisdom saves. What? I was about to say a thing though. Saw that. Saw that coming. <laughs> saw that coming. Wait. Everybody that ate the stew, or just let's go, us? baby. All of you. You all. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm passing God this all day, baby. I was about to say a thing though. Not anymore. Okay. I was about to say roll for initiative, but can I say well, even if it what doesn't gonna actually say? have? I was gonna say the team. Are you Walla? Are you Walla? <laughs> <laughs> like literally, I was about to say that. <laughs> You're, you say Natina, are you Vala? And then who who rolled under 18? <laughs> oh, Any oh no. that's funny as hell. That's <laughs> funny as hell because it means we built a resistance other than Hush. <laughs> Only Annie? <laughs> nice. I got a 21. You just Natina, are you Vala? And there's a moment of quiet, and then you and then just Fuck, I need better poison. Hi Vala. What? Oh. Hi, Bo. Oh, don't act like I haven't had you tranced for the last 10 minutes. By the way, snap out of it. She snaps her fingers. Annie, you blinked and, and suddenly you're sitting at the table with a spoon like in your hand. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> Hello, Annie. You're all no oh, fun. When did y'all get here? We've been here. When? Annie, this is the dragon. Oh, and walks up. <laughs> Hello. Oh, we're not doing this. She just lifts something up and throws it on the ground, and there is a huge explosion of just green smoke that fills the room. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it slowly dies down, and you hear the door just rapidly just... <clears throat> and smoke waves away. It's just, <laughs> just all of you. With it's like door. green powder over everything. <laughs> and that was Vala. <sighs> hmm. How's Alina doing? I was gonna ask her dragon thing. <laughs> Alina's just like blinking, covered in powder. <laughs> okay, checking if she passed the save or not. Archibald just—I mean, it's good soup. It's good soup. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and that's where we end our session. Today. <laughs> <laughs> good soup. <laughs> good soup. <laughs> I just oh, that God, session was so f- fucking long. <laughs> ah, this one be back. Was so- it was just we we just came back from a long break and we were just vibing the whole time. It was a yeah. filler episode. <laughs> it was needed. It was a filler episode. Yes, we'll probably be cut into two parts, considering it's what five Four hours and a half long. Hours long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Filler arc. 
Woo! We, we're yeah. back in Tweed Town here. Yeah. Uh, thank you nice. all for bearing with me for that time. For all of you who watched, thank you so much for watching. And if you want to see these episodes earlier, you can watch them on Friday instead of Monday. If you sign up for our Kofi, where you can get access to all sorts of cool stuff like NPC character sheets and art and cool phone wallpapers. And, and soon we'll have all sorts of neat merch stuff going up. There's stuff in the works that we will talk about more later. But for now, thank you so much for watching and we will see you next week. Unless it's the first Monday of the week, in which case we will skip it because... We have things to do other than play D&D, &D, unfortunately. Bye-bye!